Moderna says their vaccine candidate is 94.5% effective. The company's CEO, Stefan Bonsell, says of the 30,000 patients in their phase three trial, only a relative few got a bad case of COVID. We had 11 cases and all those 11 people were on placebo. In people who got our vaccine did not get any severe disease, which is, of course, a game changer. Under Operation Warp Speed, Moderna's vaccine product is already being produced. Anticipating FDA approval, U.S. officials say distribution could begin in a few weeks. Evan Brown, Fox News. California, one of the latest states to reimpose restrictions as cases surge across the country. We are seeing case rates increase and positivity rates increase as well. No longer concentrated in just a handful of counties. We are seeing community spread broadly now throughout the state of California. Governor Gavin Newsom says cases are increasing at a higher rate than at the beginning of the pandemic. California was one of the first to put a stay-at-home order in effect back in March. President-elect Joe Biden expressing some frustration over the delay in a transfer of power when it comes to making sure that the vaccines are delivered to the public. If we have to wait until January 20th to start that planning, it puts us behind over a month, month and a half. And so it's important that it be done that there be coordination. And Biden said if people may die if the vaccine distribution is not coordinated through the transition. Wall Street at the close, the Dow gained 470 points, a record high as hopes grow for a vaccine for COVID-19. The Nasdaq up 94, S&P plus 41. America is listening to Fox News. Hey, it's Adam Carolla from The Adam Carolla Show. If you're a business owner, you don't need me telling you that running a business is tough. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down. Upgrade to NetSuite. Stop paying for multiple systems that don't give you the info you need when you need it. Ditch the spreadsheets and old software. Upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle, the world's number one cloud business system. NetSuite gives you visibility and control over financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more all in one place instantaneously, whether you're in doing millions in sales or hundreds of millions in revenue. Save time, save money with NetSuite. Join the over 21,000 companies using NetSuite right now. Let NetSuite show you how they can benefit your business with a free product tour at netsuite.com slash Adam. That's a free product tour at netsuite.com slash Adam. Cases of COVID-19 in Europe are surging and European leaders are taking action to stop it. Nations across the continent have shut down over the last six weeks following a spike in cases. But it remains to be seen if these lockdowns will help beat the second wave. Meanwhile, in the UK, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is in quarantine for 14 days after coming into contact with someone who has tested positive. Johnson said it didn't matter that he has already endured COVID-19, was bursting with antibodies and fit as the butcher's dog. The COVID rules, he said, still applied to him. And in Italy, a new study shows coronavirus was circulating from as early as September 2019, suggesting it might have spread beyond China earlier than previously thought. In London, Benjamin Hall, Fox News. The World Health Organization has recorded 65 cases of COVID-19 among staff based at its headquarters, according to an email obtained by the Associated Press. This comes as the agency has said publicly there have been no transmission at their Geneva headquarters. Another tweet from President Trump is flagged. President Trump taking to Twitter. When commercials come on, don't push the button. Instead, listen. Even if you don't sell things for a living, you're still selling in the various conversations and transactions that make up your busy day. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important, especially if you're a job seeker. So take a lesson from Madison Avenue. Often the fewer words, the more effective the message. Like Jiffy Lube, where you never need an appointment or the office max ad that says you supply the ambition we supply everything else how about online ticket broker stubhub.com the way in when it's sold out or cybercupid match.com's seductive go ahead it's okay to look How cleverly and succinctly can you distill your message for more tips hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook they started with Google Glass, and now the engineers behind Google have created a new body part to strap gadgets onto. 
They're calling it the flange, and the new synthetic skin appendage fits between the shoulder blades into a flat surface capable of holding a wide array of new gadgets for Google to hawk to consumers. While unveiling the innovation today, Google CEO Larry Page said, quote, The possibilities for the number of completely pointless gadgets to strap, bind, and stick to your body are now endless. Early adopters are already raving about the synthetic body part. It overheats and burns my skin pretty bad when I have it on, but I'm really getting to like it. I'm actually thinking of getting a second one installed. Critics are cautioning the tech world to not hail the flange as an achievement yet, since several users have reported problems with the device permanently grafting to their spinal column if worn overnight. Coming up next, Doritos unveils new e-Doritos that come in JPEG form whenever you're hungry. This is the Onion News Network. It was a Monday, a day like any other day. I left a small town for the apple and decay. I'm just Jeez, kidding. That's cheap. A decaying apple. I'm just kidding. I, I did none of those things. Uh, those are <laughs> lyrics from, I don't even know, man. Like, mm, maybe like Lover Boy or something. Bad 80s rock band. No. Yeah. I can't say I know him. Is yeah. it? it yeah. Was that Lover Boy? I think so, yeah. I think that might even be the same album as like Jukebox Hero. That's the one, yeah. Was my destiny. Yeah, you, know, you get it. What I needed to do. <laughs> what I need to do is tell everybody who's uh, listening. I'm looking out for the two of us. That was not Journey. No, it was not Journey. Or, I'm sorry, not Journey. It was also not Loverboy. Was it wasn't Journey. Are you sure it wasn't Loverboy? I think we could list all night's bands that it wasn't. Uh, okay. Well, what we should do is tell the listeners that this is indeed Free Talk Live, the live yes. Monday night edition. Our toll-free number, if you'd like to join in the conversation, is 855-450-3733 or 855-450-FREE, as in freedom. Uh, and we're going to talk about uh, some fun things tonight and also whatever's on your mind. You're free to call in, take control of the airwaves, talk about anything you'd like, or weigh in on what we're talking about. Uh, I did bring in some things today, and uh, Ian, I know you did too, so we'll just uh, tease about what we're going to uh, hopefully get into this evening. Uh, at the top of my list was <laughs> something out of the New York Post uh, saying that the coronavirus lockdown in Greece requires people to text authorities before they leave their house. Well, wow. I mean, you've got to get your hall pass. That's exactly what it is. I mean, that is a great analogy. That, I, I'd bitch smack a dude. I, I <laughs> just, yeah, I don't just no. Yeah, I, I just I'm, say no. I, I'm just say no. I'm with you on that. Uh, we could talk more about that. Uh, the article goes into some of the details. And they don't understand why we need AR-15s. This is why we need AR-15s <laughs> and every other kind of weapon that you know, sh uh -huh. uh, like people should just be free to own whatever, right? I yeah. mean, as long as they're not harming Except anybody. People. Well, like, right. But I mean, as far as weapons go, yes. right? Like, I don't care if my neighbor owns a tank. Let him. Yes. You know? Might be yeah. cool to go over and take a tour of it. The you know? founding fathers had privately owned warships. All that fun stuff. I uh, want a privately owned warship. <laughs> uh, Ian, I know you wanted to talk about Dr. Falsi. I mean, Fauci. And Not specifically him, but just what it was that he's claiming is that uh, they're saying that even after you get a vaccine, if you do, which I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but even afterwards, people think everything's going to go back to normal, right? Just get the vaccine and everything. You can go to Ticketmaster again. You can, everything's going to go back to normal. But he's saying that, no, 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 they're still going to require social distancing and they're still going to require masks because... Well, I'll Somebody tell you why. needs to kick him later. in the fork. I'll tell you why later. Yeah, this is why I call him <laughs> Dr. Falsey. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's that's horrible. Although, not everyone thinks it's going to go back to normal. I think, well, me specifically, I've been saying, you know, everybody thinks it's going to go back to normal after two weeks mm -hmm. when this whole two-week thing kicked off back in March or whatever. We're now entering week 40 of two <laughs> weeks to flatten the curve. <laughs> and I was Somebody's like, getting flattened. I was like, you know, I'm just going to make this prediction right now that, no, nah, this isn't going to, this is going to last far longer than two weeks. Yeah. You know, perhaps even permanently. Well, we can get into that. Well, I mean, sooner or later, people have to fight back they can't just pussy out mm -hmm. forever I, I mean i don't know they seem pretty docile and compliant now are they putting something in the water well chlorine chlorine, chlorine? would say fluoride and fluoride but, yeah 
Mm. I don't know if I buy that does anything to people. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I've never bought Flair. Uh, I would also like to take a minute. I know we covered uh, Ticket Bastard. I'm sorry, I mean Ticketmaster. And their claim on uh, or the story was last week that they were going to require vaccine test results uh, for to get into future concerts. And they've issued a clarification on that. And so we'll talk about their clarification and also my opinion on this particular matter. A little Excellent. Bit. Uh, I've got some other things that we could they must touch be on. Pretty sure of their monopoly if they think I, they I've, can get away. I've been with calling that. them ticket bastard for some time, and and with good reason. And we, you know, we if we get around to it, we'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've also got some other things that we can talk about. Uh, the European Union. You, the European Union. You just watch his lips. You can't do a thing with them. The European Union moves to outlaw encrypted apps. Say goodbye to privacy. Oh boy. Because the European Union is uh, going to outlaw decentralized applications. Anything that doesn't have the required government backdoor in it, uh, they're going to outlaw. So if you get caught using you know, some sort of decentralized app with lots of encryption and no backdoor. Like Matrix? For example. Mm-hmm. Uh, that apparently is going to be a no-no in the EU. So we can talk about that. Wow. Um, I'd like to be the first to invite all EU residents to join our Matrix chat server at chat.lrn.fm. Indeed. I've got We've other... got, ins- we'll, we'll find you instructions on how to build a guillotine if you guys don't remember. It can be done. <laughs> if they're, they're not that hard. Well, the people in Europe have been doing way more protests against lockdowns than folks in the United States. So actually, That's we could take a cue from those, those folks. Well, uh, what we need is a combination we need their balls and our guns. <laughs> <laughs> balls and guns. That's what it takes. Balls and guns. Uh, I also have this, uh, well, we'll call it an article. It is uh, from the Associated Press. Uh, it talks about a new device puts music in your head with no headphones required. So, you know, some of you out there may have heard voices in your head already. Uh, that's generally a sign that you're not well mentally. But. Mm. Uh, this would put some doubt <laughs> into your brain, uh, along with uh, any audio source. And maybe some no doubt. And, and maybe some no doubt. Indeed. And it doesn't look like they're bone conducting. That looks like a device that would sit on your shelf or something like that. The article explains that it beams it into your head. So hey, nobody got time for that. Yeah. yeah. It's fascinating. It's fascinating and also a little creepy Yeah, in the fact that it's kind of a, it's a device that it kind of acts when you're near it or in its, I can't even say line no, of I, sight. But I'm curious. You, you kind piqued of my interest, yep. Captain. Yep. Well, that's what I'm here to do. So uh, no we, can get into, <laughs> we can get into all of that or whatever you want to bring up. And speaking of which, Who's on the line? let's go to your calls right away. We've got Dave in New Hampshire calling. Dave, you're Dave's on free time. Hey, guys. How hey you Dave. You may remember when I, I called in a couple months ago, maybe to let you know about um, – these uh, this uh, they they were they were closing a road in New Hampshire uh, because of COVID. Okay. Oh, okay. Is this and a road this to was, COVID uh, likes? Yeah. Now it wasn't really. It was sort of indirect. Uh, they 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 closed it down uh, be, because um, there was you know their COVID restrictions had caused a whole bunch of people to want to go out and hike since that was the thing they were still allowed to do. <laughs> right, and so there were too many people trying to park around the trailhead, supposedly. Oh, uh, they said they couldn't get emergency vehicles through. Right, so they just closed because down you always road. need mater- emergency vehicles on 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 the nature trail. Yeah, so they just closed down the whole road, made so people couldn't hike there. So they made Americans healthier by making it harder for them to exercise. Right. Well, yeah, and this isn't uncommon from various different jurisdictions putting ridiculous restrictions on what people can and can't do. Uh, go outside of their house. Right now in Massachusetts, if uh, you're outside of your home, they are saying you have to have a mask on no matter how far away you are from other people. And some people are taking this crap seriously, apparently even here in New Hampshire. Uh, some of the We had some visitors this weekend. We mentioned them on the show. They're you know, coming up from all around the, the Northeast to check out New Hampshire. And one of them was talking about being on a trail uh, at some point and noticing people walking by on a trail wearing a mask in New Hampshire, even. So, like, even where it's not even mandated, people putting a mask on while they're all alone walking on a nature trail. See, I 
I don't know. People being silly if it's not required is par for the course. I have no problem with it. It's still sad, though. And I don't know. Course, I mean, you know, the, given the stupid things I've seen people do, eh, hmm. that hardly rates. The, the, and, the, and the things that we have to complain about in New Hampshire are much more minor you know, than what in a lot of other places. But I still, still think we should mm-hmm. complain about them in general. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely we so, should. In the, fact, uh, Dave, do you want to hang on for a minute? Yeah. All right, stand by. Uh, Ian was talking about the guests that we had, and uh, they were very complimentary as to how well we have it here. In yeah, New I think it's great to well con- Connecticut. And <laughs> well, hopefully they will come in, come here and have it well as well. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three is our number. This is Free Talk Live. We've got more coming up. News from news.bitcoin.com. Bitcoin breaks 16,000 as Congress is poised to pump even more unbacked dollars into the market. John McAfee pumps Ghost, his crypto token, from prison. Threats from the SEC ignored. New Wyoming Congresswoman is a Bitcoin holder. Law enforcement moves long dormant Silk Road Bitcoin billion. Trump and Biden tied over who stinks more for crypto. Bitcoin.com is your source for getting started with cryptocurrencies, getting a wallet, buying Bitcoin cash, mining, and all the latest cryptocurrency news. Freedom! Freedom is the call of the untamed Scotsman and all others that want to feel the wind under their kilts. At Free Talk Live, we love the breezy, swinging feeling that only a kilt from Sport Kilt can give. We teamed up with Sport Kilt to let you experience their form of freedom at a discount. Go to kilts.freetalklive.com and see a picture of Richie and me in our kilts. And then head over to sportkilt.com. Get some stylish freedom for yourself and use code FTL for a 10% discount. Sportkilt.com. What if the United States and the Soviet Union had fought on land, sea, air, and the astral plane, struggled for dominion across parallel dimensions, or on the surface of the moon. What wonders would have been unveiled? What terrors would have haunted mankind from those dark and dismal dimensions? Come closer, peer through a glass darkly, and discover the horrifying alternative visions of World War III. From some of today's greatest minds in science fiction, fantasy, and horror, Weird World War III. Available now from Bane Books at BaneBooks.com. Divi's been a pretty good investment for Free Talk Live. Their ad campaign started in September 2019, and from mid-March to mid-July, the value soared by 10 times. It's not too late. Divi's new wallet hasn't even released yet, and other things are happening that I can't even say on the radio. If you want to invest and potentially do well, go to DiviProject.org. I can tell you that FTL is deepening its partnership with the guys from DiviProject.org. Past performance is not an indication of future profit. DiviProject.org. D-I-V-I Project.org. Free Talk Live, the show where anyone can call about whatever they want. And we do mean anyone. Jesus Christ visited every tribe okay. in America. In, uh, Amer- America. in America. She's a, in she's America, on. absolutely. There's a book that Man, came he out. he got and, around, didn't he? He was in India. He How did he China. get from, from wow. point A to he, point B? He had quite a life. In a boat. So and they took a boat from the Middle East all the way over to North America? Absolutely. <laughs> Archaeologists went and visited different tribes oh, and, really? and followed their myths and stuff. And uh-huh. None of them used the name Jesus, but they all described him as a white man with long brown hair and, and, well, and a beard. Well, now, why is it that Jesus oh, yeah. is white? That, that's how what did, I want to understand. How did a white guy get born to a bunch of Sephardic Jews is what I want to know. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, God's white, so I mean, that's how. <laughs> of course he, he is. was the Immaculate Conception. He could make that baby whatever color he wanted well, to. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. There are lots of ways to listen to Free Talk Live. Our podcast has been around since podcasts began, and now the FTL feed is loaded with content besides our full show archives. Did you know that we make it easy for you to customize your podcast subscriptions? We have different feeds, one that includes only our full shows, one with just the Daily Digest, and our main feed that includes everything. You decide what you listen to. It's quick and easy to customize your feeds at feeds.freetalklive.com. That's feeds.freetalklive.com. Are you a cryptocurrency advocate? The Crypto Tip is the ideal outreach tool to help new people discover cryptocurrency. It's a printable business card-sized tip that you can give to service providers, preferably in addition to a good cash tip. When the server scans the QR code, it'll bring up an explanation of cryptocurrency, how to install a wallet, and allow them to claim the tip. If they don't claim the crypto, you get your tip refunded to you after a time period you specify. Plus, if they do claim the tip, you get an email alert. Create as many tips as you want at CryptoTip.org. That's CryptoTip.org. 
Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Welcome back, everybody. It is Free Talk Live, the live Monday night edition. Tonight in the studio, it is myself, the Reverend Captain Kickass. Yes, and also Ian and Nobody. And uh, I wanted to let everybody know that if you were listening in the first segment, that it was not Loverboy, it was Foreigner. That's who we were talking about, was Foreigner. So It's true. Uh, if you weren't listening during the first segment, well, now you're just going to have foreigners stuck in your head like an earworm. There you go. My gift to you. Like an apple in decay. <laughs> <laughs> it was my destiny. And then, you know what else is my destiny is to uh, bring Dave in New Hampshire back on the air. because My he destiny was... was a stripper. <laughs> my stripper was cinnamon. <laughs> mm, tasty. Uh, I don't know destiny. So, Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. We were talking about uh, the... New Hampshire hiking experience and how they didn't really outlaw hiking. They just sort of uh, closed the road. Is that right? Yes, but that was in May when they closed the road. Uh, and they had they had like a bureaucrat standing there at the road. <laughs> with, a beer with his fest? Orange, his, orange, his orange cones and turning everybody around. Um, Wait, the bear cat and, or a bureaucrat? Yeah, a bureaucrat. Was bureaucrat. a bureaucrat <laughs> in a bear cat? <laughs> um and uh, so anyway, I went, I was back there, I think about three weeks ago um, and um, same spot. And this is Pawtuckaway State Park, about 15 miles east of Manchester. So it's, it's the public area of Pawtuckaway where you don't have to pay a fee or anything like that. It's just a public road, right? Just, you know, and um, so I, I was there recently and they didn't have the blockage anymore. Uh, but they, while they were there doing the blockage, apparently, apparently they got all these authoritarian ideas because all this signage appeared that wasn't there before. And <laughs> this is the most interesting sign, quote, coming soon, hiking reservations will be required for this trailhead. Outrageous. Unquote. I've got, got reservations thing. about that, uh, the plan. I don't think and it's a good one. And I got your reservation for you right here. Uh, yeah. But. I actually heard about this, too. I saw your video. Uh, you posted one, what, like a week or so ago about this over at RidleyReport.com, which is your YouTube channel where you've got actual footage of this signage. I mean, it's absolutely real. And somebody else had told me about this being the case on Mount Monadnock uh, as well. Now, on that, and that is one of the more well-climbed mountains in North America it's the one that's the closest here to the studio, and I've been up it a number of times over the 15 years I've been here, and from what I understand, that most of the trailheads do actually have some sort of bureaucrat who staffs them, uh, or at least there's some sort of a station. I don't know if there's always a bureaucrat there or whatever, but uh, there is actually a trailhead where there's never been anything like that, where it's, there's just a parking area, and you just go up the trail, and you go up the mountain, and there's no like donation box or anything like that. Uh, so I, I am curious to know how do they plan on enforcing said appointments? Yeah, well, I can tell you how they enforced it in May. Uh, and the other thing that they did was that they they they, they put up signs on all the other. Pa- There's only like five parking spots at this trailhead. This is the remote most remote place you could possibly go and still be close to Manchester, right? And and they put signs. Uh, you used to be able to just park on the side of the road if, if there, by some miracle there mm-hmm. were five people parked there. You could just park on the side of the road. Right. Uh, and uh, the, uh, now they put signs up as far as they can that say no parking so that, so that if five people park there, there's no way to park. What do you think these crazy bastards are actually trying to accomplish? It, it seems like, I mean, the, the obvious response is they, they just want power for power's sake, which mm-hmm. is which is true, but but at the same time, it seems like, I mean, the there's a weird pattern to the weirdness, and 
but well, I don't get what it is, and I'm good at spotting patterns. It reminds me of that Quebecois sci-fi movie that came out about five years ago where they, everybody was forced to, uh, like, you were allowed to go hunting in your computer game, but you couldn't go, like, and into the actual forest. You weren't, humans weren't allowed into the forest, right? Mm. Um, and, and that's, it feels Had the like world been taken over by PETA? <laughs> People eating tasty well, animals? People eating tasty Maybe. animals. But again, again, the one thing you don't, don't do to fat Americans is make it harder for them to exercise. That's, that's what you don't do if you want them to live longer. Yeah, to answer uh, nobody's question, the only thing that I can think of, the only thing my brain has been able to surmise is that we're being fattened for harvest. Like there's an alien species going to come down and uh, just, you know, we're a food source for them. Yeah, but fat's not a good food source. <laughs> well, how well, do you know? Actually, You're not the alien. I mean, Atkins diet is all all protein and fat, and it works out really well. Fat has plenty of calories. And the, but, yeah, the same uh, thing with the keto. It's I, I don't know. Based. Although I think you've got a point there. It could be more mundane than aliens, though. I mean, one of the big things they seem intent on doing is emptying out the supply chain. Yeah. Like making sure that there's no uh, no excess stuff laying around anywhere in America. Yep. Well, that, of course, is what you'd want to do before an invasion by by aliens or even by communists, uh, Chinese, Russian, whatever kind of communists you got. Some foreign um, entity. Or Nazis, but they're hard to come by these days. Hey, Dave, thanks for the call tonight. We appreciate oh. it. Uh, so... Yeah, that's the only thing that came to mind. And, you know, I'm a science fiction nerd, so, of course, it stands to reason that, you know, that's the first thing that popped into my head. But mm. uh, I have no basis in fact for any of that. I was just like, this seems like the plot to some sort of, you know, takeover movie, right? You know, like the aliens have infiltrated, you know, important places, right? Uh, it goes along with the whole lizard people conspiracy, right? They're the lizard people in masks of humans, right? And so now, uh, you know, they're just fattening us up for harvest. I mean, they're changing I mean, all the some rules. Some of us are fat enough already. Well, amen to that. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're changing all the rules, and they're being even less service oriented than they they've ever been. I By mean, a the, long the, shot. The government has always been crappy at doing the things that they say they'll do, yeah. and well, now they're you even worse. Don't have worse. to give good service if you can force people at gunpoint to buy your product. Correct. Well, and now they've taken it down ten more steps as far as the quality is concerned, and people are going to put up with it. Uh, I was watching a video from Danny Shine, who we've interviewed here a few times. He's a YouTuber in the UK, mm. and so it's been interesting to watch them go up and like confront their cops and ask them questions. And he was in a park called Speaker's Corner. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, famous, pa yeah. famous park. Yeah, and he was asking different uh, bobbies whether or not it was illegal to speak at Speaker's Corner now. And some of them were dodging the question, but one of them came right out and said, yes, it, was it is. a dodgy thing. Uh, yes, it was illegal to speak at Speaker's Corner now, because not that not because speaking has been made illegal, but because gathering a crowd right. is now illegal. Now so therefore... Just change the name what? to Speakless Corner, mm -hmm. right? Mm. I just want to point out and real quick... The thing is, Speaker's Corner has always been a, sim a place that was really symbolic of free speech. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I just want to point out real quick to Dave Ridley's point. Uh, if you think that something is owned, that's owned by the government is owned by the public, you're wrong. Uh, public s service is government service. Public parks are government parks. Mm -hmm. They're owned by the government. You don't own them. I dare you to go and try and, you know, do something there that they would rather you not do and see what happens. Yep. 855, 450 free. We got more free talk live coming up. And pounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. Our cat mama, she's 10 years old. She has dandruff and an oily coat. I have two cats, Dixie and Daisy. Daisy sheds like crazy. If you love your pets as much as I do, you'll want to do what's best for them to live long, healthy, happy lives. D I N O V I T E dot com. I just tried this wonderful, catalicious Dynavite for cats, and my cat has been on it for two weeks. She is not scratching anymore. She's not chewing anymore. It is just the best. I was thrilled when I heard Dynavite for cats was coming out because I'd seen the changes in my dog. To introduce my cat to Dynavite, I took the advice from Dynavite and put their food on top of just a scoop in the bowl just to get them used to it because I know if I even switch one little thing, they put their nose up to it. There was not one problem. Dynavite for life. You won't believe how happy your cat will be. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com.
is spreading the message of liberty, cryptocurrency, and peace around the globe worth $2 per month to you? As you may already know, in addition to our internet feed, LRN.FM broadcasts on free-to-air satellite across North and Central America, as well as Sub-Saharan Africa, and we've been available on satellite for free 24-7 since 2010. The LRN.FM free-to-air satellite signal is reaching some of the most oppressive regimes in the world, and there's no doubt our ideas are making an impact. You can learn more about the channel's impact by watching the three-minute video at fund.lrn.fm. If you'd like to help free minds globally with our ideas of liberty, cryptocurrency, and peace, you can donate as little as $2 per month via fund.lrn.fm. You can help us continue and expand our satellite broadcast to multiple continents. Visit fund.lrn.fm today and thank you for your help. Don't forget to share the link on social media. That's fund.lrn.fm. Want to accept Bitcoin at your online store? There's a good chance you already have what you need. A WordPress using WooCommerce and a Bitcoin address. Now all you need to start taking Bitcoin payments on your website is the AnyPay app on your Android or iPhone. Just paste your Bitcoin address into AnyPay, then connect it to your website with our one-click plugin for WordPress. Now your website takes Bitcoin. Start to finish in 15 minutes or less with no complicated steps. Download AnyPay from the App Store today. What if you want to hear the latest episode of Free Talk Live, but all you have is your phone, you forgot to download our archive, and you have no data connection? You can call our listen line at 641-793-0191. That's a long-distance number, so you may incur charges. If not, listen as long as you want. 641-793-0191. The Free Talk Live listen line, 641-793-0191. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, 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 hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Yes, it is Free Talk Live, and it's just another Manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday, because that's my fun day, <laughs> my I-don't-have-to-run day. Name that tune, nobody? Hmm? Manic Monday. That's very yes. good. Yes. Yeah, very good. You already but, said it. Name the artist. If you've actually used the, the words, you the can't bangles. ask very good, somebody Ian. to well name done. the tool. Well I could, because I, you know, it was possible you were not paying attention. Of course I was not paying it. All right. <laughs> 855-450-3733 is our telephone number if you'd like to join us in case you weren't paying attention. Or 855-450-FREE, as in freedom, as I like See, to say. I thought the superior song was I Don't Like Mondays. Well, I do like Mondays because, well, I get to hang out with you guys and do this radio show. So that seems inappropriate for use on this program anyway. Well, it was actually that that song was made for one of the very first school shooters who happened to be a female, and they asked her why she did it, and she she did it on a Monday, and she said, "I don't like Mondays." <laughs> Sound reasoning, man. Yes. I don't remember any female school shooters. When was that? Many, many years ago. I mean, when did they make the "I don't like Mondays" song? That was like late seventies, maybe. Oh, wow. I'm not sure, but I can tell you that Bitcoin.com has launched a trading platform 
at local.bitcoin.com, allowing you to buy or sell Bitcoin cash via dozens of payment methods like PayPal, Venmo, bank deposit, remittances, or meeting in person with cash. There are no ID requirements to sign up for Doesn't and use the site. just mean payment? Uh, sure. Okay. And all it means communications. Cross, sorry, it means a cross-border payment, typically. Ah. Usually it's like from a family member in the U.S. to somebody in Mexico, for instance. That would be a remittance. Hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. But uh, for that to work, you'd have to have a family member in Mexico who sold Bitcoin. <laughs> well, okay. go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. This is what we get paid for. Sure. <laughs> uh, there are no ID requirements to sign up for and use the site, and all communications between buyers and sellers are encrypted. Finally, a global trading platform that respects your privacy. Visit local.bitcoin.com to get started trading Bitcoin Cash. That's local.bitcoin.com. And for all your remittance needs. Indeed. I wonder if you could call recycled mittens remittance. You could. Nobody would know what you were talking about. And nobody some would, people would think you were silly. But not Nobody. Nobody. Uh, let's go right back to some of your calls and your thoughts. We have Sam calling from Rincon, Puerto Rico. Sam, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, guys. Um, the reason I'm calling, I've been trying to figure out, like probably most of the world, where exactly all this is going. And what yeah. I'm coming up against is that in order to force a vaccine, they're going to have to disarm everybody. And in order to do effective disarming, they're going to have to have a confiscation. And before you can have a confiscation, you have to have a registration. And every time a registration of any sort is passed in the United States, everyone resists it. I, they just had the one, I think it was in New Jersey, where, you, where you, your high-capacity magazines are grandfathered in. You have to register them. We know that 30,000 of these things were sold, and they get like six people that register them. Mm. I mean, it's just they have a happening. lot of boat accidents in New Jersey is what happened. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm, I'm originally or recently from California, and it was, it was the same thing there. They would pass these registrations, and then no one would register. People should be more careful with just, those boats. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it just seems like... It's just completely a non-starter, and so I can't, I can't really get my head around what these knuckleheads in charge actually think they're going to accomplish. Mainly because I've been in the gun culture most of my life, and mm -hmm. most gun owners that I know are gun owners because they know something about history, mm, and they're right. not going to fall for this. Well, and I think that they're that the the tyrants that be are losing their best protection in that the gun owners didn't want to revolt while Trump was in office, but they would be very joyous and happy to revolt with, uh, with uh, Biden in office, who's much more revolting, according to is most. Your, is your boogaloo sense tingling there? Maybe? My boogaloo sense has been tingling for a long time. I've got a big, old, throbbing bugaloo that won't go down. Well, Sam, what it looks <laughs> like they're going to do instead is uh, they're going to incentivize the... So instead of just telling everybody you got to do it, they're going to say, well, you can choose not to have a vaccine, but then you won't be able to fly again, and you won't be able to go and get a ticket from Ticketmaster. I can't Ticket fly Master. now. Ticket bastard. Can the rest of you fly? <laughs> on an airplane. Oh, okay. Uh, I believe I can fly. Yeah, so I they're going to they're going to tell you that you won't be able to send your kids to school, which you shouldn't want to do that anyway. My god, no. They're going to they're going to use, you know, these things that they know that a lot of people will want to do and they're going to require total obedience, I think, in order to uh, you know, to let you do those things. So that'll get a good chunk of the population. What por what portion? I don't know. It, all it takes is one person to kick him in the fork, and it'll become a tradition. Any other thoughts, Sam? I, I think, well, a couple. One, I think I'm okay with that, because I spent a good chunk of my life trying to wake people up, and I hate using that phrase, but yeah. what I found is that most people really like their chains. They're yeah. happy with it. And, as, and since I realized that, I've just been trying to... Uh, create my life in such a way that I can sidestep a lot of what mm. these really silly people are willing to accept that right. I'm not. Um, and, and, and this, 
this whole virus thing, um, I, I feel like I've been gotten, like they managed to get me. Is and, that why you're in Puerto I, Rico? Were you always from there? Did you move there on purpose to sort of you know do your own thing? Uh, the, the latter. Um, they've, uh-huh. they've got incredible tax incentives down here, and so I came down here to take advantage of that because because prior to this virus, really, um, politics was mainly about who's going to rob who and what are we going to do with the money. And if you can take yourself out of the tax system, then suddenly you don't give a shit anymore. Okay, oh, we can't have you no, talking no, like no, that no. on the radio, oh. but uh, definitely appreciate the call. Indeed. Thanks so much. Yeah, there's uh, certain things you can't say on the radio. We are a broadcast program, not an internet-only Which we program. should mention, which I don't think we have in a while, that the FCC is actually mentioned nowhere in the Constitution. That's true. Um, That's true. And personally, I think they should be taken out and maimed. I agree. Uh, but to... I, don't, I don't agree. I don't think violence solves problems. Well, I, I fictitiously. It solves a lot figurative, of problems for Figuratively. Them. figuratively. Does it, though? Well, I mean, they kill us, and then we don't fight back anymore. Mm. <laughs> um, so, but to Sam's point, I don't. It is forced vaccination, or you know, a majority of people getting these shots. Who knows what's in them? Is that the end game here? I'm not convinced, and I say that because th- it's not only happening no, not the end game. just in the United States, right? Mm-hmm. All this lockdown madness, this COVID craze. Whatever you want to call it, I call it dystopian for sure. Mm. Uh, is it's global? There's not yeah. a country that's not affected, except for maybe some what rural areas of I don't know Africa, perhaps. A lot of know. it seems to be happening, or at least I seem to d- divine a connection between the COVID and Epstein not having killed himself. You think that's connected somehow? Well, the thing that does make sense to me is that they would have to be in some kind of a panic to do this. I mean, because, I mean, it's it's certainly not um, increasing their political capital. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were close to... Uh, close to finding the mother load, the truth, the proof. And, and, and uh, so full distraction and mode. They had to lock the whole world down to, to, to keep them down. Maybe, I, I suppose, but it seems like there's something else. 855 450 free. We've got more free talk live coming up. Are you afraid to go to the mailbox because of letter after letter from the IRS? Are they stacking on more and more penalties and interest? By now, you know the problem won't go away on its own. Don't let the IRS chase you to your grave with penalties and interest and liens and levies. You need real help now. I'm Dan Pilla. I wrote the book on tax debt settlement, and I helped thousands of people solve tax problems they thought couldn't be solved. I can help you too. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, danpilla.com. That's danpilla.com, danpilla.com. At 58 years of age, I noticed a dramatic energy decline. After a five-day work week, I had to use one of my days off to rest and recover. I also had cut my gym visits down from three times a week to once a week. Since I began using Green Meadow Way, my energy level has greatly improved. I no longer have to take a day to recover. I have increased my gym visits back to three times a week. I'm actually more active and feeling better now than I have in the last five years. It's so nice to wake up in the morning feeling good and ready to go. Before trying Green Meadow Way, I must have tried every whey protein product on the market, and every one of them caused me bloating, gas, and constipation. I've had no such issues with Green Meadow Way. In fact, I'm sleeping better. My vision has improved, and surprisingly, my emotional and mental state has also improved. I love what Green Meadow Way has done for me. Green Meadow Way comes from milk derived from grass pastured cows. To order, call 888-988-3325 or visit GreenMeadowWay.com. What if you could cut your heating bills this winter with your existing wood-burning fireplace and not spend thousands doing it? You can with Great Wall of Fire Fireplace Grates. Our U.S. patented, made-in-America Wall of Fire Grates increase fireplace efficiency, eliminate fireplace smoke problems, and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See our grates in action and get free shipping from walloffire.com or call 800-274-7364. Fireplace heat without fireplace smoke. Walloffire.com. 
on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. When you amp Free Talk Live, you get perks like access to the amp-only Facebook group and amp podcast. Visit amp.freetalklive.com. Tired of cancel culture? Sick of mega tech corporations holding an axe over your head? Join the LRN.FM Matrix chat server. It's self-hosted, so no one else can tell us what to do or say. Don't like the existing channels? You can make your own. You can even connect into some of our channels from other Matrix servers. It's federated. For the full LRN.FM Matrix experience, though, you should join our server via the step-by-step -step instructions at chat.lrn.fm. chat.lrn.fm. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Welcome back to Free Talk Live, everybody. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. I don't know about you. What do you think? Boo. <laughs> hmm. You know what doesn't get me down? Cryptocurrency and all things decentralized, like Divi, for example. You've heard us talk about Divi here on Free Talk Live, and maybe you've wanted to set up one of their easy-to-deploy masternodes or even stake Divi so that you can begin earning Divi right now. I've done it. And I've heard you tell many people that setting up the Divi Masternode was super easy and staking was even easier. Is that true? It's true. Nice. Well, we're not investment advisors here on Free Talk Live, but we think you will be impressed with your earning potential with Divi as compared to traditional investment vehicles. Go to DiviProject.org to get started. You can buy Divi at several exchanges or directly from the Divi team. If you need help... There's a link to their Telegram channel right on the front page at diviproject.org. That's D-I-V-I project.org. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We have the Christian Anarchist calling from Tennessee. Gene, you're on Free Talk Live. Well, is it okay to say pee-pee and poo-poo on the air? Sure. For, okay. for you, Gene, I guess. All right. <laughs> I don't want to waste everybody's time with the common COVID or this bogus election you know, I want to I want to address the world's biggest problem. Okay. And you you know it's got to involve women, right? There's there's always friction between men and women, and since I'm an That's authority on women. That's the best part. Best <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, joke of the okay. night. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so right. since there's always friction between men and women, and I'm an authority, I wanted to address a very serious complaint between the sexes. Hmm. And that is toilet seats. Oh, okay. So, are, yeah, you, are you women, a seat up guy or a seat down guy? Oh, got to have it up. Okay, right? yeah, I'm with you. Women are always complaining that men are leaving the seat up. So why is it our responsibility to lower the seat? When men want to sit down, don't they always look to see if it's down before they sit on the toilet? Well, why not always. 
<laughs> I no? failed. Okay, there there was one <laughs> time in my right. drunkenness, in yeah. my in my I stupor. I think everybody's had that failure. I have failed. <laughs> well, why can't women just check and see if the seat uh, is up and then lower it? In fact, even more important, why don't the women lift the seat after they're done so that us men don't have to lift it? Why does it have to be the other way around? Yeah, the other thing that I put in your prenup. Yeah, that's true. The other yeah. thing I'd like to see is if the seat is going to be down, uh, how about having a foot pedal that you can step on that lifts the seat instead of... Yeah. Oh, like one of those trash cans they have in doctor's office. Yeah, you know, yeah. you just step on it, it goes, right, and it lifts up so you don't have I to think, potentially I touch... I think maybe there should be some legislation uh, regarding toilet seats and their design so that all toilet seats have to be designed in such a way Who that... Who are you and what did you do with Gene the Christian Anarchist? <laughs> After you lift them up, you know, 10 minutes later, they just come down on their own. How about that? You know, just automatic toilet seats, little robot toilet seats. Yeah, it, it, could, yeah, it could have like a well, human body want, detector on it, right? A sensor that if nobody yeah. is detected, not nobody, but nobody yeah. is detected, uh, the seat comes down. You're right. If you want it to <laughs> go down 10 seconds after it goes up, you just need to get it some crack. And you could just put a camera on the toilet. And when it sees somebody's wang hanging out, it just lifts the seat up, and then they do their business. And when they're done, it just lowers the seat. I think I stumbled on a Wherever you put a camera, it will eventually be hacked. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't care. Do you? doesn't bother me any. Uh, well, it's the, the legislation part you mentioned, Gene. That's the bothersome part. I don't no, want anything no, like that legislated. Legislation. legislation is the answer to everything. Then you'll you know? end up spending a hundred and fifty dollars on a toilet seat, like the like the freaking Navy. <laughs> That's the price you pay for for freedom. <laughs> you got to uh, have no, you gotta spend no, no. more money. <laughs> Thanks for the call tonight, Gene. I believe uh, Team America has made it clear that the price of freedom is a dollar five, a buck oh five, in in their words. So uh, we we at least have that to go off of for our baseline of the price of freedom. Well, we've got that going for us. Which is nice. I've got a dollar five. Do you have a dollar five? I have at least a dollar. I believe I have I'll a nickel. I'll lend you a nickel. I believe I have a nickel out in my car in the former ashtray, which is now, uh, it's just sort of a junk collector. You want like to go out after the show and get some freedom? I'd like to take Perhaps. this moment to uh, recommend that everybody who has a problem with their toilet seat check out the washlet which I highly recommend. I got one a couple of years ago, and it has uh, just been a fantastic experience. Is that the, uh, the high-tech bidet? Yeah, yeah. It also is a heated seat, so there's a heater in the seat. Uh, it has a bidet, and uh, man, you won't ever want to go back. There are and unpleasantries. And it saves, saves money on toilet paper. <laughs> in, in this life, there are my unpleasantries. My mom had one of those things that short-circuited. Uh, that really burned my ass. <laughs> <laughs> the, un the unpleasantries are cold toilet seats, dentist chairs, and trips to DMV. You knock that one out then. With so, 300 bucks. Yep. What was You'll the, thank me what later. What's the website? Uh, anywhere that sells yes. washlets. Was washlet. Cold okay. toilet seats are among the things that I would sell if I had an inconvenience store. An uh, inconvenience yeah. store. <laughs> well, every other toilet seat is an inconvenience now. Because whenever I go and use any other toilet, it's like, it's going to be cold. <laughs> And it is. Well, I don't know. Have you have you tried the the cushioned toilet seats? Those are better. Those are better than are better. the whatever the what are they made out of then plastic, just plastic or whatever? Ones, yeah, yeah, the ones that are cold. Yeah, the the ones with the cushions are better, but yeah, sometimes they're like especially if they've got a rip in them or something, you might get like a paper cut, you know, <laughs> on 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 an unpleasant area. So I, I'm not saying that's happened to me, but <laughs> but it has. Are you saying his areas are unpleasant? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying if your toilet, if your cushioned toilet seat is tore up, get a new one. That's what I'm saying. Telling you, the Japanese, they already understand this. They are the, these things are everywhere in Tokyo. I mean, uh, everywhere I went to, I swear I didn't find a single toilet that didn't have one of these things. Wow. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's uh, continue with your calls and thoughts. Let's go to Rich Paw is a moron calling into Free Talk Live. I wonder who this is. Yeah, how can I answer? Yep, I was right. And thanks for your call tonight, Rich Paw. All right. <laughs> that was a quick call. I think it was actually just the is a moron part. Yeah. That was a quick call. We like those. Clearly, it hasn't met me. So I wanted to talk about this article from the New York Post. Uh, new coronavirus lockdown in Greece requires people to text authorities before leaving their home. 
Now imagine that. And we know the reason that I bring this stuff up, sometimes I bring stuff up and our listeners will, you know, maybe in the chat room or later on, like, when do you talk about stuff that's not happening in the United States? Well, because guess what? We live on a planet. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it can happen here, too. And that's more to my point is that generally what we've seen, particularly through this, we'll call it COVID madness that all the governments are subjecting us to, is also happening around the globe. And generally, when one government does a thing, it's only a matter of time until all of the governments do the same thing. So if you want a preview of the future, you want to gaze into the magic eight ball of life, well, this is possibly one of the outcomes that you will see coming soon. Just imagine a boot stuck uh, crushing a human face forever. For all eternity. Under a second nationwide coronavirus lockdown in Greece, which, by the way, they're locking down uh, Seattle and what was it, Chicago again? Chicago, yeah, 30 days. And, and a couple of other places. Uh, so it's not just happening Chicago in Greece. Chicago has it coming. Uh, but in Greece, people will need to text authorities if they want to leave their homes. The lockdown will start at daybreak Saturday and last until the end of the month. I believe this past Saturday, this article is a couple days old. Uh, with infections surging across the country, Prime Minister, uh, the Prime Minister uh, said he acted before <laughs> patients overwhelm hospitals. We must stop this wave, the Prime Minister said Thursday. I chose once again to take drastic measures sooner than later. Sound familiar? Hasn't he ever dealt with waves? You can't stop them. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mitsotakis is, uh, I mean, he's a politician, right? So he's going to lie to you. Tough doesn't, talk. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, as a part of the lockdown, all retail stores except those selling essential items such as food, medication, and fuel will be closed. So he's going to stop the wave of economic activity that might have actually come back during whatever minor reopening they've had. That's the yeah. wave that he'll be putting a stop to. Yeah, and... Uh, mm. And I know that this is also happening in a couple of other places uh, here in the United States where they're engaging in the second lockdown where the businesses that managed to make it through the first lockdown uh, and Round reopen two. and and reopen are now being shut down again. Let's see how many more can be eliminated because what the Yelp numbers from the summertime were that sixty uh, percent of businesses that had shut down aren't coming back. May the fleas of a thousand camels find his ten. May their next phone number be one digit away from an all-night taxi service. Mm. We've got more coming up here on Free Talk Live. If you want to join us, 855-450-3733. Remember when you first heard about Bitcoin? How long did it take you to realize this little project would soon change the world? Do you kind of wish you had gotten involved sooner? Well, now is your chance to be a part of the next revolution in money. Intercoin is working to finally make crypto go mainstream. It's designed to be scalable enough to support everyday payments and even elections without the state. Bitcoin was originally supposed to be a peer-to-peer cash system, the way we would all pay one another without having to trust any third party. But instead, over time, it mostly became a store of value. That's because every 10 minutes, the Bitcoin network must put all transactions into a block, and that block can only hold so much. If crypto is to become mainstream for people to use it for everyday payments, we need a new architecture. One that is as secure as Bitcoin while being far more scalable. Check out intercoin.org to find out more and maybe pick up some of those coins for yourself. Bitcoin.com has launched a trading platform at local.bitcoin.com allowing you to buy or sell Bitcoin cash via dozens of payment methods like PayPal, Venmo, bank deposit, remittances, or meeting in person with cash. There are no ID requirements to sign up for and use the site, and all communications between buyers and sellers are encrypted. Finally, a global trading platform that respects your privacy. Visit local.bitcoin.com to get started trading Bitcoin cash. Local.bitcoin.com Some of you asked, and now we've delivered. LRN.FM's live Keen New Hampshire studio shows are now streamed in HD on Twitch. Visit our channel at twitch.lrn.fm and give it a follow. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription on Twitch. If you use it on our channel, Twitch will give LRN.FM a monthly piece of your Prime subscription cost. So please watch, follow, share, and subscribe to twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Another breakthrough. I'm Lisa Lacerra, Fox News. A second drug company reporting positive results on a coronavirus vaccine. The Moderna company announcing their candidate for the vaccine appears to be 94.5% effective, according to preliminary data in the company's ongoing studies, which shows strong protection against the coronavirus for those who will take the shot. The news coming after Pfizer revealed its own vaccine to be just over 90% effective. Both companies hope to get their vaccines approved for emergency use for some by by the end of the year, HHS Secretary Alex Azar says if approved, both companies will have big benefits. Fox's Laura Engel, the Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association says more than one million children and teens in the U.S. have been diagnosed with the virus. The president-elect unveils his plan to improve the economy. President-elect Joe Biden in Wilmington, Delaware, outlining his plans for the U.S. economy and promising to have what he called a fairer tax structure with corporations paying their fair share. We all agreed that we want to get the economy back on track. We need our workers to be back on the job by getting the virus under control. We're going in a very dark winter. Things are going to get much tougher before they get easier. Biden promised to pass a $15 minimum wage nationwide and called on Congress to come together and pass a new coronavirus relief package. In Washington, John Decker, Fox News. The University of California system has reached a proposed $73 million settlement with seven women who accused a former gynecologist of sexual abuse. As part of the class action lawsuit, more than 6,000 patients of Dr. James Heaps could receive part of the settlement, even if they have not accused the former UCLA doctor of abuse. The settlement needs the approval of a federal judge. America is listening to Fox News. Twenty twenty has already reshaped how we work and it's almost over. Businesses across the globe are challenged to be their most efficient, which means every hire is critical. Indeed is here to help. Indeed helps you find quality candidates quickly so you can focus on hiring the person you need to keep your business going. Unlike other sites, Indeed gives you full control and payment flexibility over your hiring. You only pay for what you need, can pause your account at any time, and there are no long-term contracts. And now, Indeed's new way of matching you with candidates instantly delivers a short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job criteria that you can contact the moment you sponsor a job, making Indeed the only job site that can move as fast as you do. Right now, Indeed is offering a free $75 credit to boost your job post, which means more quality candidates will see it fast. Get started on Indeed.com slash Fox. Offer valid through December 31st. Terms and conditions apply. As cases of COVID-19 rise in New Jersey, restrictions are being put back in place. Last week, we asked indoor dining to close at 10. Today, we're going to reduce the amount of folks who could gather indoors for an event down to 10 people, Mm -hmm. outdoors down to 150 people. Governor Phil Murphy, the indoor dining limit goes into effect tomorrow. The outdoor limit goes into effect next Monday. He says hospitalizations now are at about 2,000. During the peak of the pandemic, he says they were about 8,300. And he says he hopes distribution of a vaccine in the state will begin in a few months for the next for the most vulnerable and by spring to the broader population. The nation's largest meat company is taking steps to keep supermarkets supplied through a surge of coronavirus cases. Tyson says it's much more prepared for virus outbreaks than in the spring. It has been investing in protective gear. It's allowing more space for workers at existing plants, has been hiring nurses and other health personnel, and is designing new facilities with workstations. I'm grateful to have heard from some of our satellite listeners recently. I appreciate knowing that people are out there who like what we do and are willing to support it financially. LRN.FM's free-to-air satellite feeds blanket most of two continents. It was my goal to put our channel there so people without internet could receive our programs and feed pirate radio stations. We started a fundraiser on Patreon a few years ago to back the satellite channels. I recently announced that I was considering canceling the feeds and donations increased from 15 to 20 percent of our costs, which are around $1,000 per month. That's a good start, and to incentivize more contributions, the Shire Free Church will be matching every dollar. Can we reach $500 per month? With your help, we can. You can join our satellite fundraiser for just $2 a month at fund.lrn.fm. 
If we raise enough to keep both of the channels on the air, awesome. If we raise more, I'll add more channels. If not, we can shut them down and go internet only. It's up to you. Thank you for your support. FUND.LRN.FM it's the story that's stunning the tech world. Despite his age, six-year-old data entry prodigy Jeffrey Peters is already entertaining offers from dozens of major temp agencies. Experts say Jeffrey's abilities to sit still and perform mind-numbing tasks in Excel and Word for hours on end rank with a freelance worker three times his age. But Jeffrey's mom says that she knew he was special from early on. I've always thought that Jeffrey was different from the other kids. He started wearing glasses for computer strain when he was just three and a half, and he already has some pretty significant significant tendonitis. <laughs> I've always wanted to work at Maverick Recruiting. The data entry whiz is at the center of a bidding war between industry titans like Workforce Solutions and Metropolitan Staffing, both offering lavish perks like starting salaries of up to $15,000 and a cramped cubicle shared with only two other temps. Jeffrey's parents say that given the generous offers he's already received, he could be well on the way to affording a dingy rundown apartment of his own. This is the Onion News Network. Welcome back to Free Talk Live, everybody. Every other day, every other day, every other day of the week is fine. Yeah. Monday, Monday. Anyone? No? You don't know that song? I've heard that one. All right. Variations, couldn't tell you who sings it, Variations though. on the theme. Yeah, me neither, actually, now that I think about it. Well, anyway, our toll-free number is 855-450-3733 if you would like to call in, take control of the airwaves. That's 855-450-FREE. You can talk about whatever's on your mind, anything that we've been talking about here tonight or anything we've talked about in the past. Uh, it's called Free Talk Live for that reason. In the studio tonight, it is myself, the Reverend Captain Kickass. And it's Ian. And nobody. And we've been talking about, in Greece, the country, not the frying material that you put French fries and chicken in. Uh, Greece, the country, is requiring people to text authorities before leaving their house. Did they say what they have to say? Because I might text them, but they wouldn't like <laughs> what I told them. Well, we'll find out. Uh, as part of the lockdown, all retail stores, except those selling essential items like food, medication, and fuel, will be closed. Travel inside the country will be severely restricted, whatever that means. People will only be allowed to leave their homes for work physical exercise, or medical reasons, and only after sending a text message to authorities. And the message must start with, Mother, may I? <laughs> if it were my country, it would have to start with, Captain, may I? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd probably start my <laughs> message with, your mother let me. Uh, um, uh, well, Trebek. Anyway, uh, travel inside the country will be severely restricted. I said that already. Did you say surreally? I said that travel inside the country will be severely restricted. Oh, I already. thought you said surreally restricted. Also true. People will only be allowed to leave, I already said that, in the text to the five-digit number. People will have to provide their name, address, and reason why they need to leave their home. Permissible reasons also include taking children to school. Taking a pet for a walk. They're still making the kids go to school. Of all things, the, th the the torture is what they'll let you out of the house for. <laughs> Taking a pet for a walk and visiting people who need assistance, according to Sky News. So, want to take a walk? Dear Mr. Government, I'm leaving my house now to take a walk. Now, d do you actually have to wait for the response? Well, that's a good question. Or do you just have to give them a heads up? Or you just go, you know, I'm leaving now. Peace out, bro. <laughs> I have to <laughs> Make sure you put the new government tracking app on your phone so oh, they can know exactly yeah. where you are at all times. Don't ever deviate from your path. Mandatory contact and tracing nobody app. nobody got time for that. You must turn your location services on. Uh, when people venture out, they will be required to carry identification. Let me say that again. They will be required to carry identification. Mm. Your papers, sir. And a form detailing their reason for leaving home <laughs> if they aren't able to text. Oh, <laughs> so you can uh, like, there's an like, out. Yeah, like if you don't have a phone, uh -huh. right? Then then your papers, please. Mm -hmm. You must carry the form that says uh, why 
You got to write it down and carry it with you. Here's my. Per- it's a permission slip. Is exactly what it is. Yeah. It's like you can write your own permission slip in this case, but that's it's still what it is. It's like you're in grade school and you're going on the field trip to the planet Arium. Well, that's the thing. I mean, government school was preparation for real life. Right? I love the planet Arium. It, it, it this is exactly like government school and it was always that way i mean that's what the driver's license really was ultimately but but people maybe wouldn't have been able to see that as clearly now maybe some of the people who uh, weren't sure about that can see that this is obviously a hall pass same thing. i don't think you should malign our public schools they are the best preparation for prison that money can buy that's exactly what i'm saying <laughs> speaking of which during the new lockdown in greece kindergartens primary schools and all grades in special education schools will stay open high schools will operate via remote learning i wonder why that is why grade schools and preschools you know, remain open, but high schools well, the, will they're, be they're little. They can't do much damage. And high school kids, if you get a bunch of them together, can, you know, mess some stuff up. Yeah, I guess. The country's borders will be open, but anyone arriving from abroad must provide proof of a negative coronavirus test. Civil Protection Is Deputy Is that from any girl or only said. from abroad? <laughs> Just from one broad, not many broads. Okay. Health authorities in Greece recorded 2,556 new coronavirus cases. Quick, oh somebody panic. God. And a record 34 deaths on Saturday. During the pandemic, the country has That's had... almost as many as died from cars one day. <laughs> During the pandemic, the country has had 54,809 confirmed cases and 749 deaths. That is okay. from uh, the New York Post.com. So, yeah, coming soon to a government near you... You must either carry a permission slip or you must text why you're leaving your house. Let's I'll go pass to, on that. On, I'll uh, pass on uh, texting. I'm yeah, not going to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it either. I'm sorry. It's you none can, of your you can send them a I'm notification doing. and Google. That don't, <laughs> yeah. That won't get there. So uh, Let's go to uh, Maddie, who's calling in from also New Hampshire. Maddie, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello? Hey, what's up? Maddie from the North. Hey, what's going I, uh, on? So I wanted, to, yeah, I wanted to call about, uh, so uh, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, you guys had talked about the Marine study and how they were uh, totally isolated and they had The extreme more, Marine um, quarantine. Uh, yes, I did talk about that. Yeah. They, yeah, and uh, you guys answered your own question and didn't realize it. It's because they tested more. What was the question? The question, well, the question was, why were they popping positive at a higher rate than the general public? Because mm. they were testing at a higher rate. No, no, it wasn't the general public. They had a control group. Right. So, and, and actually, they're the military, the, the whole thing is a control they were group. Comparing, comparing, you were comparing it to the general public, though. Well, what we were saying is, well, the reason I brought the article in for the show on Saturday was because... It proves that there is no difference between the lockdowns and not lockdowns uh, with regards to the spread of the coronavirus. In other words, it doesn't make any difference if you lock everybody down as harshly as you possibly can. The virus is still going to spread, and so the lockdowns are irrelevant. Well, it does make a big difference in the suicide rate, though. That's true. Yeah, but uh, but when you were talking about it, you were saying they actually had... uh, a slightly higher infection rate, supposed infection rate, right? Hmm. Yeah, I believe we, then, we did say something then, about that, yeah. Okay, so the reason why is because they were testing more. And gotcha. the PCR test, if you don't know anything about the Okay, for, uh, let's talk about the PCR test for a second. What are they testing for? Uh, <laughs> for whether you're stupid enough to pay for a test. It's the SARS-CoV in general, I believe. And what genetic material, uh, so what genetic material do you know, like the primer name that they use for the SARS-CoV-2? For SARS-CoV-2? I do not lay it on me. In the PCR? Okay. Well, here's the thing that's going to blow your mind. is There is not one single primer that they're looking for. So you'd think that SARS-CoV-2 is like one thing that they're looking for, right? No, they have multiple primers. In fact, I think there's up to 12 for the WHO when they do their test. There's 12 of them. And one of the primers they use for you to pop positive for SARS-CoV-2 matches 
chromosome eight, a part <laughs> of your human DNA. That's right next to love potion number nine. <laughs> yeah. So chromosome chromosome eight, it's uh, built into every single Homo sapien, and that's what they test for in their RT PCR test. Who are you calling a Homo sapien? Twelve, I think they have. Uh, well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. These yep. things, so, I mean, when people talk about PCR tests, and how, how can you say that you pop positive for anything when there's multiple primers that they're looking for? That is a great question, Maddie, and thank you for the call yeah. today. Uh, I know that the uh, the qPCR, which is the quick PCR test, uh, has also fallen under scrutiny, uh, giving false positives and that kind of a thing. So I doubt it'll be scrutinized that that hard, though. <laughs> well, not by anybody in the yeah. general public, anyway. Uh, but yes, there there are indeed some uh, some things that would lead to clerical errors, if you will, within the testing regimen. Uh, 855-450-373 is our phone number if you'd like to join us. That's 855-450-FREE. More Free Talk Live coming up. Divi's been a pretty good investment for Free Talk Live. Their ad campaign started in September 2019, and from mid-March to mid-July, the values soared by 10 times. It's not too late. Divi's new wallet hasn't even released yet, and other things are happening that I can't even say on the radio. If you want to invest and potentially do well, go to DiviProject.org. I can tell you that FTL is deepening its partnership with the guys from DiviProject.org. Past performance is not an indication of future profit. DiviProject.org. D-I-V-I Project.org. News from news.bitcoin.com. Bitcoin breaks 16,000 as Congress is poised to pump even more unbacked dollars into the market. John McAfee pumps Ghost, his crypto token, from prison. Threats from the SEC? Ignored. New Wyoming Congresswoman is a Bitcoin holder. Law enforcement moves long dormant Silk Road Bitcoin billion. Trump and Biden tied over who stinks more for crypto. Bitcoin.com is your source for getting started with cryptocurrencies. Getting a wallet, buying Bitcoin cash, mining, and all the latest cryptocurrency news. Having taken her father's throne, Sarah Calhoun has fallen out with one of her best allies, and her brother Nathaniel heads into Imperial Philadelphia with a reckless plan. Her uncle Thomas, armed with new powers and new allies, aims to remove Sarah from her throne and from the world of the living. To survive and to gain the strength she needs to fight an impossible war, Sarah must unite the Mound Builder Kings to enact an ancient rite that will propel her beyond mortality. Servant Daughter by T.J. Butler is the newest entry in the Dragon Award-winning Witchy War series from Bane Books at BaneBooks.com. Every year, over a million fires burn in America. Fortunately, firefighters are on the job, saving life and property, and you can be a part of it. Seven out of ten firefighters and emergency responders are volunteers. There's no typical firefighter. Anyone can volunteer to serve their community. Volunteering as a first responder is really about having the heart and drive to make a difference where it's needed most. Your community needs you. Are you ready to answer the call? Learn more and find local volunteer opportunities at makemeafirefighter.org. The Free State Project has reached its goal of 20,000 liberty lovers who've pledged to move to New Hampshire and get active to achieve liberty in our lifetime. Perhaps you're trying to figure out what part of New Hampshire should be your destination. If so, consider Keene. You'll find more than 150 reasons to move to Keene at move.freekeene.com. Keene is famous for its historic, publicity-generating activism, as well as being the liberty media capital of the world. It's home to freekeene.com, New Hampshire's destination for liberty activism, news, and opinion. For years, we've been compiling over 150 reasons to move to Keene at move.freekeene.com, where you'll learn about some of what's happening here and what makes Keene a great place to live. If you love liberty, you'll probably enjoy anywhere you end up in the Shire. But do your due diligence first. Please visit move.freekeen.com for the full list of over 150 reasons to move to Keene. That's move.freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm.
Is oral health important to you? If you don't like your own teeth, fresh breath, or kissing people, then by all means, stop listening. Several years ago, I met Jessica Armand, founder and CEO of My Magic Mud, and I became passionate about the product that she created and never want to live without it. It's clinically proven to whiten teeth, but I find it does much more. They want you to love My Magic Mud as much as I do, so they're giving you a money-back guarantee plus 20% off. Go to MyMagicMud.com and use coupon code FTL20 at checkout. MyMagicMud.com, FTL20. Some of our live shows are streamed in HD on Twitch. Please follow and share at twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. Yes, it is Free Talk Live. I believe I've officially run out of popular songs with the word Monday in it to mention as we go into the, well, we're already into the I second hour. I thought you were going to say it run out of Bolivian marching powder. No, I still have some of that. <laughs> yeah, left over from the last time. Uh, but our toll-free number here is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450, free as in freedom. If you would like to join us, you can take control of the airwaves, talk about anything you like or anything we've been talking about. Uh, tonight in the studio, it's myself, the captain. It's Ian. And somebody else. And we were talking in the previous segment uh, about Greece, where apparently <laughs> during Greasy this bastards. this uh, this next version of the lockdowns that they've implemented, the second phase, uh, they're requiring folks to text the authorities, their reason for leaving the house. Mm. And that's by I think they should text me their reason for thinking it's any of their damn business. What <laughs> I, do. I agree. I agree. But uh, or it, if you're a Greek official and you want to tell me why you think it's any of your business, what people do, you can send me an email at electnobody.com. Very well. Uh, we have been talking about how all of this ridiculousness is not going away for quite some time here on Free Talk Live. In fact, since, well, the ridiculousness started, we were talking about uh, Wuhan when it was going on. We were talking about uh, the lockdowns as soon as they occurred here. Uh, we've predicted several of us have said that, nope, it's going to last way more than two weeks. And, uh, you know, if we don't start standing up See, now, you, you, we're not going to be able to. You, your understanding of the situation, though, is 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 wrong it's crooked and so and so it's uh I, I i need to i need to set set you straight and let me bring one of my favorite people in to help you with that because do, do, you say do, do, this is do, going do, to do, end do. or not going to end as if it's some given as if it's carved into stone but the question is when will we end it and I will remind you of the immortal words of Frederick Douglass, who said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. Hey, get that dialogue box out of my way. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> Let me you start know? over and use <laughs> Maybe purely he did say Frederick Douglass's words, because this is a fine quote. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. Find out just what any people will quietly submit to, and you have found out the exact measure of injustice and wrong which will be imposed upon them. And these will continue till they are resisted with either words or with blows or with both. The limits of tyrants are prescribed by the, inv by the endurance of those whom they oppress. So do not ask for whom the bell tolls, and do not ask how long this will go on. Ask, how long will you tolerate it? Well, that is a great question. How long will not only I tolerate it, how long will the collective we tolerate it? And by we, I'm, of course, referring to, well, anybody within, mm -hmm. well, any government lockdown at this point, any version, any type of it whatsoever. See, I wish I could remember how to say no in French. I'm pretty sure it's a no. good question. But, Me? Uh, so, Nay? I think it's just no. No? Okay. So, so the question isn't how long will the collective we go on? 
If the question is, when will the collective no set in? Oh, it's non. 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 Right, the collective yes. non. <laughs> so I know. Which sounds like I'm suggesting it, that Indian bread would, is the solution. <laughs> <laughs> non. Yeah. I know from history that generally the more horrible, bad things the government does, that it sort of brings on that no. Right. And Ian, you had something that furthers uh, the government's crackdown uh, from Mr. Falsey. I mean, Fauci. Yeah. So uh, this scumbag that works apparently for the federal government, uh, he's apparently a doctor and a lot of people think he's super important or something. So they listen to what this guy says. And there have been, of course, a lot of people who believe that this is going to end, that there is going to be a return to normalcy. And some of them believe that if they'll oh, just... Oh, there will be eventually. You think so? Yeah, uh, and, and no society can go on like this without collapsing. So if we don't end it, nature will. will. Okay. It just won't go well for us if we wait that long. Well, some people believe that it'll go back to normal if they just take a vaccine. And if just everybody takes the vaccine, then we can just all go back to work. We can all go back to school or whatever it is that they were doing beforehand. Uh, and if they're working this hard... To get a vaccine in our blood, then I guarantee you don't want it there. They've got people yeah. in the in the Seattle area believing that it's their fault for not having locked down hard enough. And so mm -hmm. there are literally people on my social media feeds saying things like, screw you weenies, I'm locking down harder than all of you this time. You guys, are, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, like it's a, the competition is setting in. A lockdown in. measuring contest. Yeah, wow. yeah definitely. Can, can we export some of our most enthusiastic locker downers to the them? Seattle, sure. Where they would be appreciated for their special skills and hard work? They could join in the competition. Indeed. So there, this mindset of, oh, we just need to get the vaccine and then we'll be okay and everything will be fine. And if you don't want to get the vaccine, then you'll have to stay home. I've heard people say things like yes. this, right? Mm -hmm. And Yeah, good luck with that. Well, they got news for you. According to the New York Post, this Dr. Fauci character said on Sunday that it will still be necessary to social distance wear masks, and take other COVID-19 precautions, whatever arbitrary crap they make up, after after a vaccine becomes available to Americans. He said, and quote, Interestingly enough, it will also still be necessary to bitch smack this guy if you ever see him on the street. He said, quote, I would recommend to people to not abandon all public health measures just because you've been vaccinated. He said this on CNN's State of the Union, saying further, because even though for the general population it might be 90 to 95 percent effective, you don't necessarily just know. Your for human you. immune system is 90 to 95 percent effective in keeping you from, in, from catching this stuff. Good God, the people I know have all been 100 percent effective at not catching it. What he says, though, is that because uh, for most people he says it'll be 90 to 95 percent effective, you don't necessarily know for you how effective it is. So what he's saying is their excuse for continuing all of the, the, the measures, all of the restrictions, the masks and the social distancing is that, well, if you take the vaccine, you won't really know if it's working. So therefore... <laughs> You'll have to continue doing gotta, all the things. You got to take the vaccine so to know it's in it. I'll tell you what. I dare you. Lock yourself in your room. Lock yourself in a room with me and a needle, and we'll see <laughs> if it goes in my arm or your eye. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there you go. He says, uh, according to this, he is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said that once he receives a vaccine, he still won't feel comfortable completely letting his guard down. I don't think you should let your guard down because you, you definitely wouldn't want me to run into you by surprise. Well, I'm pretty sure the <laughs> flu vaccine is maybe 40% effective. Is that right? Uh, uh, yeah. At causing the flu? More Free Talk Live coming up. Moose is the German Shepherd, now 11, and he's been an amazing dog. Moose is so active and so alert and hasn't had any kind of health problems at all. He has a beautiful coat, and at 11, he'll still run and chase the ball. He has been on Dynavite since he's a puppy. Dynavite for life. 
because if they're getting all their vitamins, micronutrients, microbials from the beginning, then you're not going to run into the problems associated with the grass, pollen, dust, dirt, fleas, ticks, you name it, and the itching and shedding down the road. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. We tell anybody that has a dog, if there was something that you could do right from the beginning so that you don't have expensive veterinary bills, why would you not do it? Get the Dynavite. You won't believe how happy your dog will be. I get my Dynavite from D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. This is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends. I've run websites since 1996 and have used over a dozen web hosts in that time. AgristHosting.com is the only one that hasn't broken my heart. Agrist Hosting's uptime and service is stellar, and their DDoS mitigation is the best I've seen. That's important because if you tell the truth in this world, you'll ruffle feathers. And some people will try dirty tricks to silence your voice. No matter what the haters hit us with, Agorist Hosting keeps our websites online. If you have a mission-critical commercial presence or a world-changing activism site, you cannot tolerate any skullduggery. So go with agorishosting.com. Have a WordPress or blog site, but you're not satisfied with performance or uptime? Or just want raw hosting? Want to pay with Bitcoin? Agris Hosting specializes in high-performance hosting with personalized service. Go to agoristhosting.com and click on the button that says Get Hosted. That's agoristhosting.com. There are basically two types of advertising, direct response and branding. Radio is great for direct response with its low cost to listener ratio, but audio can't be beat for branding, which is a longer term endeavor. You want to be the first thing that someone thinks of when they think about your product or service. If you have a local business that you want kept top of mind in your community, call the station. If you need national reach, Free Talk Live's got around 200 radio stations, millions of monthly listening sessions, can suit all budgets, and if we don't think we're right for you, we'll tell you. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com to receive our usually weekly news updates by email. Plus, we have a Twitter account at twitter.freetalklive.com, and you can follow us on the decentralized Mastodon platform at toot.freetalklive.com. So please follow us at toot.freetalklive.com and sign up for our emails at news.freetalklive.com. We have some good news. The indictments against Ross Ulbricht in the District of Maryland were dismissed with prejudice, meaning they can never be refiled. This is especially good because those indictments contain the only charge ever made that Ross engaged in murder for hire. This was a serious allegation that Ross Ulbricht denies. It was never prosecuted or ruled on by a jury, but was trumpeted by the federal government and the media as if it were proven fact. The Maryland court held these indictments for almost five years, poisoning Ross's case and leaving him under a cloud of unproven allegations. As explained in Ross's appeal to the Supreme Court, the fact that the judge used these allegations to give Ross a draconian sentence of double life without parole violated his Sixth Amendment right to a jury trial. Judges are required to issue sentences based on convictions decided by a jury, not unproven allegations, never even charged at trial. Although this is a positive development, the dropped indictment will not set Ross free. Now, a presidential pardon is Ross's only hope of freedom. Sign the petition at freeross.org. Freeross.org. Love what we do? Please help support our international satellite channels at patreon.lrn.fm. That's patreon.lrn.fm. Welcome back to the Monday edition of Free Talk Live, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Like freedom, that's 855-450-3733. If you would like to call in, get in on the conversation, you can bring up anything you'd like or anything we've been talking about, uh, past, present, or perhaps even future. In the studio tonight, it's... It's Ian. And your host, Rod Serling, a man... With no upper lip. Wait, I'm the host. Oh, okay. But I, then I, I'm nobody. But I do dig Rod Serling. Imagine, if you will, 
three hosts in chairs sitting around in half a circle speaking three to hosts and no guests <laughs> don't get serling with me <laughs> hmm. serling silver uh <laughs> Speaking of things that are valuable like silver, Intercoin is the next step in the evolution of money. Just as the Internet is a global network that connects local networks, Intercoin is a global currency platform that enables communities around the world to issue and manage their own currency to circulate among their local population. Intercoin enables fintech innovation on the local community level, leading to stronger communities, greater sustainability, less poverty, and more productivity. Intercoin is attempting to regain some of our freedoms that are threatened on the internet and in meat space. We think that's important here on Free Talk Live. So important that Free Talk Live accepted $40,000 worth of Intercoin tokens from Intercoin Inc. in exchange for advertising. If you think freedom is important too, check out Intercoin at intercoin.org. You can invest in this project and potentially make big gains or just be involved and perhaps shape its future. That's intercoin.org. Org. So we were talking about Dr. Falsi, I mean Fauci, Indeed. and and his uh, claim. Dr. Falsi, the chaotic quack. Well, I call him that because uh, you know he was wishy-washy on the mask thing, right? At first, he's like, "No, you don't need to wear any masks. They don't do anything. They're completely ineffective against something like this." And then a couple months went by. He's like, "Oh no, the masks are totally effective against it. You need to wear the masks." And he said, "You need to wear goggles too." Well, yeah, it all depends really on serious. what he's Japanese rain goggles. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Well, the next thing you know, he's gonna he's gonna mandate that I had people. One wear... girl give me Japanese rain goggles. It was amazing. Oh boy, that sounds like a euphemism. Let's not go there. <laughs> oh yes, it's Asian too. Speaking of so euf- euthana- euphemism in Asia. So Dr. Falsi uh, not only was wishy-washy on the mask thing, but the next thing he's going to mandate is that everybody wear blindfolds to prevent them from seeing what the hell's really going on. Mm. We're not there yet, but uh, yeah, he's basically saying that after any vaccines that go on, they're still going to require people to socially distance and they're still going to require masks. So nothing's going to change. If you thought it was over when the vaccine gets released and mandated and... Mm. All these things that... uh, But are they going to mandate it? I mean, what's Ticketmaster have to say about it? Well, so... Ticket Ticket bastards. Yes, thank you, nobody. That is my pet name for this particular organization. Uh, They've always been bastards in, uh, well, when it comes to uh, putting on events as far as just really taking most of the money for themselves and none to the the venues, much less the artists. But uh, they, I believe uh, this was last Wednesday, Free Talk Live uh, brought up uh, Ticketmaster. There was something in the news that said Ticketmaster is going to require a negative COVID test. Uh, something tied or a to vaccine. An, or, or, a va- or a vaccine. Uh, you, uh, some evidence of you having taken the vaccine that's going to be tied to your ticket through the app or through the website in order for you to get into the concert. And uh, apparently there was some public backlash uh, with regards to Ticket Bastard, really? when that report came out. Well, I'm glad somebody got got some lashing. And this is from uh, Blabbermouth.net. Uh, Ticketmaster clarifies report on whether it will require vaccine status test results for future events. Uh, Ticketmaster hmm. has clarified a report that claimed the company was working on a plan to use smartphones to verify whether customers have been vaccinated or tested for coronavirus in preparation for a potential return to live events. Uh, smoke, um, if my phone is smart, it won't rat me out because it can go in a ditch too. Amen to that. <laughs> Billboard's original report indicated that the process would involve fans using the Ticketmaster app in partnership with medical information firms and vaccine and testing distributors. After buying a ticket, customers would be required to either verify their vaccination status or prove they have tested negative for coronavirus within 72 hours prior to the event. Okay, if you go through that to go to a rock and roll show, by definition, it's still not rock and roll. Mm -hmm. So don't even bother. (laughs) Regional health authorities would determine the length of coverage for any test. Attendees would then authorize vaccine distribution providers to send over test results to companies like CLEAR, that's all caps, C-L-E-A-R, some sort of acronym for something they don't explain here. Something evil. Uh, Health Pass or IBM's Digital Health Pass, which would verify the fan's status to Ticketmaster. So those are health organizations 
Uh, no, they're tech organizations. Uh, no, Clear Health Pass and IBM's Digital Health Pass. Those are tech organizations that are going to create technical a little, ha- a little right. hall pass for you that will uh, indicate whether or not you've got the required right. Which yeah, would interface with in, in order for them to be a, a health organization, there would have to be some relationship between the hall pass and health. What so they're actually a political okay, let me, organization. Let, let me let me clarify here. Those Clear Health Pass or IBM's Digital Health Pass are organizations which would then interface and verify the fan status to Ticketmaster. Yeah, that has nothing to do with health. Anyone who tests positive or fails to get screened won't be granted access to the event venue billboard reported. So, uh, <laughs> that was the original report. And as you can imagine, fans of live anything, live events, concerts, etc. and so on, were like, you're crazy. Uh, earlier today, Ticketmaster issued the following statement correcting the original report from Billboard. Mm. <laughs> I say that with a laugh because I've read this already, but you'll see why in a minute. It was widely misreported yesterday that Ticketmaster will be requiring vaccine status test results for future events. This is not true. Ticketmaster does not have the power to set policies around safety or entry requirements, which would include vaccines and or testing protocols. That is up to the discretion of the event organizer. So far, it sounds like they're not doing anything that was reported, right? Now, here's the caveat. We are indeed exploring these options. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But it is still only a potential concept, and Ticketmaster will not be able to require such parameters. It would always be up to the event organizer. That sounds pretty Weasley. So uh, (laughs) does that mean that Ticketmaster will, in their contract with the event organizer, strongly encourage the event organizer to require that or is it going to rely on the government to mandate them to requirements so like the ticket master will have this whole thing set up and then every state government will start mandating that they use it basically right so what ticket master is saying is that oh yeah they've definitely been working on this mm-hmm. on all of the things that were reported right uh but it's not up to them to go hey this is mandatory it's up to the event uh, organizers to go, hey, this is the matter. So if you're Which putting. Which all of them will do. All of them will be. All of them will do. So Ticketmaster is saying. Not if they want people to come to their shows. Yeah, Ticketmaster is saying, well, we can't actually mandate this, but the event organizers can, and we are working on systems to help them do this. So they've denied nothing. They've just used a bunch of words to say well, that, yes, we are indeed working on this. No, we, Ticketmaster, what cannot mandate is this. What they is that it's their choice, but which we, is true. But we, Ticketmaster, can enforce it for a event promoter in a state where the government does require it. Yes. So, and I will be most, if not the super majority of them. It's, uh, again, Ticket Bastard, uh, using bastardly language. This is a mega company. I mean, Ticketmaster has been around for I don't know how many decades, but it's been a, a long Far time. Far too long, in my and opinion. And they have a quite a grip over the ticketing industry, don't they, Captain? They do. They do, yeah. Uh, due to well, the ongoing pandemic, the grip. ticketing and promotion giant Live Nation Entertainment, which operates both Live Nation and Ticketmaster, last week reported a 95% drop in revenue in its third quarter compared to the same time last year. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, they've lost a whole bunch of revenue. I know Ticketmaster, as the mega company, is itching, if you will, to make some money again. 855-450-3733. Would you be a ticket bastard? More coming up. When you have a pain in the neck, a real pain in the neck, back, shoulder, or legs, you now have two convenient choices to get fast relief without taking another pill. Because now, Sunny Bay heating wraps and pillows are available at both Amazon and Walmart. Yes, see Sunny Bay's four and a half to five star customer reviews on Amazon.com or Walmart.com. Our made in the USA microwavable heat wraps, heatable neck pillows, and extra large body wraps are designed Designed better for perfect support where and when you need it. Even while driving, Sunny Bay wraps will not burn and stay balanced to provide soothing hot or cold therapy to help treat temporary or chronic pain. And the best part? Sunny Bay quality products start at under $20. Join thousands of happy customers and see why Sunny Bay products have a lifetime 100% positive rating on both Amazon and Etsy. It's easy. Click Amazon or Walmart and search today for Sunny Bay. 
Do you have health or energy challenges? Would you like to support your health and energy from a product that people consistently feel the uplifting and health building effects from the first day they consume it? I introduce you to Green Meadow Whey, the only whey protein powder from grass pastured cows that is processed in a manner that ensures that the proteins and amino acids remain in their correct geometric shape that the body can use. The naturally occurring proteins, peptides, and amino acids in Renatured Whey are proven to support multiple aspects of human health, from complementing your immune system, to neutralizing chronic inflammation, to supporting detoxification, to stabilization of blood sugar, and more. Additionally, due to the testa-like frequencies encoded into Green Meadow Way, it is a dramatic support for your energy and mood. And it is an excellent emergency preparedness food with well over a five-year shelf life. To order, call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit GreenMeadowWay.com. GreenMeadowWay.com. Join liberty-minded voluntarists, anarchists, and libertarians from June 28th through July 4th for ForkFest 2021 at Rogers Campground in the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire. ForkFest happens the week after the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and ForkFest is decentralized, which means no one is in charge. That also means there's no ticket cost. Just reserve your camping, RV site, or motel room with Rogers Campground for June 28th through July 4th. Where better to celebrate Independence Day than around other freedom-loving activists in the Shire? You can relax and enjoy the camaraderie of like-minded people, or you can create whatever experience or event you'd like others to have. If you're planning an event for ForkFest, be sure to let others know in advance. You can connect with fellow ForkFesters via the unofficial Telegram chat or the ForkFest forum. Links to those are on the unofficial website, ForkFest.party. Mark your calendar for June 28th through July 4th, 2021. We'll see you at ForkFest.Party. The LRN.FM social media channels have been revamped. We've eliminated Facebook and focused on other platforms like Twitter and Mastodon, the decentralized alternative to Twitter. On our accounts, you'll find posts from multiple LRN.FM show hosts together in one place. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.lrn.fm, or better yet, move to the decentralized Mastodon social media platform at toot.lrn.fm, T-O-O-T dot L-R-N.FM. I think you'll like it. Looking for a great real estate investment? Consider New Hampshire, which is ground zero for the Liberty Movement. Your first call should be to Mark Warden from Porcupine Real Estate. He's more than just a real estate agent. He's your New Hampshire concierge. Where are the best places to live? Do you want farms, city, the burbs, or forest? Do you want a duplex or multifamily building so that renters pay your mortgage? There are homes in all price ranges in New Hampshire, and Mark can help with financing too. Invest in Liberty and property. Mark Warden can help. PorcupineRealEstate.com now you can follow LRN.FM on the decentralized Mastodon social media platform at toot.lrn.fm, toot.lrn.fm. Welcome back to the show, everybody. It is Free Talk Live. It's the Monday edition. Anyone? Max Hedron. Oh, Monday, hey. Monday, Monday edition. I still see him popping up in TV series every now and then. I got to say, Max Hedron was a futuristic, dystopian television show. And uh, I don't know how accurate it was, but it certainly at times was not inaccurate. Uh, I remember the the kids had these... Uh, like gas-powered skateboards and almost uh, Segway-looking things, mm. and uh, those things are, of course, you know, became stuff. So, at any rate, uh, we did not get uh, Mr. Max Hedrum himself, the, Matt Frewer, uh, right? Uh, but you know, we don't have this sort of talking personality that goes and shows up on your television screens or your. Uh, computers and cell phones, but we did have a bunch of things that sort of well, took we, place well, like that. I don't know. We do have deep fakes now. That's true. And, and these deep fakes are so good. I don't know if you've seen some of them. Uh, yeah, just, I mean, they can I just have. generate fake people now. Yeah. Uh, at least still photos. I imagine they can do the exact same thing with the videos. Yeah, as they well. can. The, the videos are creepy, where they actually make people say things that they didn't say, mm -hmm. and it sounds just like they did, and you can't really tell that it's been edited in any way. It is super creepy. 
Uh, but at any rate, uh, our toll-free number, 855-450-3733, if you'd like to join us. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the organizations that we mentioned uh, previously, uh, particularly CLEAR is mm-hmm. one of them, and, and what they are, what they do. Uh, but first, I want to tell you that AnyPay 2.0 is here, and crypto payments are now faster than ever. Uh, I know this because I've been using it here in town. Uh, I had some dinner on Sunday and got to use AnyPay, and man, it is it is so great. But if you're using Edge Wallet, Handcash, Bitcoin.com, or Dash Wallet, your experience should be smooth. But some wallets aren't yet ready for this impressive new technology. These wallet programmers need to hear from you, the wallet users. Visit AnyPayInc.com forward slash upgrade to learn why some popular wallets are incompatible with AnyPay 2.0 and reach out to the wallet programmers and encourage them to make payments perfect over at AnyPayInc.com forward slash upgrade. That's AnyPayInc.com forward slash upgrade. So tell us about Clear, Ian. Well, I had not looked into them um, until now. I mean, I just I kind of figured I knew what they were yeah. when they were used. We talked about this uh, Ticketmaster story where they are going. Well, the initial reports were Ticketmaster would be demanding a proof of vaccination or proof of uh, clear COVID nineteen test, mm-hmm. and they re- they referred to these two companies, Clear Health Pass and IBM uh, Health Pass. Now, the comment I made about it last week was that IBM actually was known to have been helping the Nazis back in World War II. True. So they're up to their old tricks. Uh, Clear, it seems to be a newer company. I'm, it's not clear uh, exactly who is behind it. <laughs> clear uh, is not clear? Yeah. How, how could it not be clear? It's called Clear. Also, we look to find out what the... It looks like Clear might be an acronym for something. We've yet to actually been able to find out what that is. We have questions. Uh, but regardless, what you learn when you go to their website is that Clear has actually been in business for a while, as far as at least the last 10 years. Uh, so it's not like they just came out, came out of nowhere with their health pass thing. Sure. But what they were offering and are offering now, and are I'm sure going to try to shove it down your throat if they can get their buddies in government to do that for them, is biometric identification. That's all that this company is. This oh, is a company fun. that had developed a biometric ID system that apparently has been implemented by multiple airports. Uh, like, like uh, I guess Delta and United are two of their partners or investors. Yeah. There is a story about United investing in Clear. So I actually recall seeing the logo at an airport. Right. And I haven't been at the airport this year yet. So this would have been last year when I've seen that that logo. So again, you know, they they've already placed themselves at certain venues. They've already placed themselves at uh, at airports and they are a biometric ID company. So when you sign up with them, you give them your identifiers, right? So you take a photograph, uh you may have to show them your fingerprints, things like this. And then the idea is that they give you this what previous to this COVID thing was just a clear pass. Now it's a health pass. Right. So they're basically using COVID-19 and all the fear and all the government mandates around that and their big corporate partners to shove biometric ID down more people's throats who otherwise otherwise they were just trying to you know encourage you, right? Like, oh, you want a faster experience at the airport? Just use clear. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yep. But now it's if you want to go anywhere and do anything, right. uh, they're going to try to make you use their product, which means they will have a full biometric uh, profile on you, and that's how you'll get into things. Or or not, if you refuse. Or not, correct. Right? Yeah. correct. So uh, it's, to- I, it's totally creepy. I want to point out that Clear is a LabCorp company, it appears, if you're familiar with LabCorp. No, are you? No, I'm not, but I just anybody who's listening who might be uh, in the medical uh, technology industry, uh, because Clear doesn't... They do make it clear on their website that they are a LabCorp uh, organization, so or a sub organization of LabCorp on their website. Uh, but yes, this is, uh, I believe you called it in uh, the medical authoritarian hellscape. Absolutely, that's what this is. We've been using that terminology probably since March or so mm-hmm. of this year, describing what we predict. Uh, to happen. And one of the things that we predicted, I think you specifically predicted, was, yeah, they're not going to let you go anywhere until you've proven that you've got the shot. Right? And this seems to be going that way. Yeah. It's scary stuff. 
Uh, you know, if this was something people were doing voluntarily on their own volition, then that's one thing. Um, I, I I get it. I understand the attraction of these sorts of things. And there's probably it's probably true that in certain circumstances, this does help with, say, security, right? Like if you've got a building, uh, you know, that it needs to be a secure facility, then it probably isn't a bad idea to have the biometric identities of all of your employees on file in whatever the security system is there. I mean, I, I get that. I understand the reasons for this. But uh, to just tell everybody that this is the new way of things is not a cool. Yeah, or to mm. require it to right. go and do things or otherwise participate in life, <laughs> to me, is just right. Now they're using. Now they're going to use fear, and they're going to use their corporate partners and government mandates to mandate that you use yep. either these people or IBM. Either way, it's not. It's not really a choice. Agreed. So yeah, it's just there. It's the it's the latest coding over the biometric ID thing that they've been trying to get people to agree to for many years, and this one's going to be more successful because people are afraid. They are, and they're going to take advantage of them. It's it's a no brainer. It's already been happening. The people who just comply without questioning anything at all, they go, sure, it makes sense. Yeah, you know, go along, it's fine. Um, these are the people that I take issue with. And we were watching the, they've got the little pitch video on their website that's sort of sort of the explainer, you know, like the animated explainer video. They uh, had that horribly creepy lady doing the voiceover too that just sounds like it's something out of a dystopian hellscape. It really does. And the, and in the video, we don't, we don't have it pulled up here for you to listen to, but, you know, it's a two, two minute long uh, pitch video where it's got like this lady, oh, here's Jane and she's stuck at home and she's so afraid and this will help Jane feel safe. And it's got like her going out to a sporting event and easily using her clear to get in. And it's all, it's all positioned around safety. Safety. And of course, that's what everything's been positioned around this year. 2020 has been the year of safety to the max. And that's one, been one of the most disappointing things about this to me because, you know, you can't, in my opinion, you can't have fun without having some risks in your life. You can't have enjoyment in life. Uh, you can't have success in life without having risks uh, in life. And for people to just be of the, the mindset that risk is bad and that uh, safety is good and that safety is paramount. Uh, it has been a major changeover from the way things used to be, although arguably the government has been moving people towards this position for many years. Well, and with all of that, too, comes a lack of privacy, right? Oh, because yeah. it, it, let's just say you do have to show some sort of a non, you know, a, a, a negative result for COVID before you can get into a concert via mm -hmm. whatever, you know, ticket bastard and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, who has access to that information, right? Where, Clear. where, where does your privacy, uh, you know, where does it rate? How does it come in? Does it even exist? Oh, at this Clear point? says you can trust them. They will well, be very, they very private. You can trust them. Everybody mm -hmm. says you can trust them. But we know that privacy isn't something that governments typically. Uh, will allow you to have whether you want it or not. Oh, yeah, no, they'll turn anything over to the government. So that's a concern for me because I know for a fact, and in fact, we can talk about uh, this coming up. You better believe uh, they're lobbying the government right now. Yeah, the EU Council uh, has passed a resolution or is spearheading a resolution to uh, ban all... Uh, uh, apps that are in encrypted. In other words, uh, they want a mandatory backdoor built into all right. apps. So we could talk about that coming up. This is Free Talk Live. More on the way. Remember when you first heard about Bitcoin? How long did it take you to realize this little project would soon change the world? Do you kind of wish you had gotten involved sooner? Well, now is your chance to be part of the next revolution in money. Intercoin is working to finally make crypto go mainstream. It's designed to be scalable enough to support everyday payments and even elections without the state. Bitcoin was originally supposed to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash system, the way we would all pay one another without having to trust any third party. But instead, over time, it mostly became a store of value. That's because every 10 minutes, the Bitcoin network must put all transactions into a block. And that block can only hold so much. If crypto is to become mainstream, for everyone to use it in everyday payments, we need a new architecture, one that's as secure as Bitcoin while being far more scalable. Check out intercoin.org to find out more and maybe pick up some of those coins for yourself. 
Are you tired of governments around the world killing innocent people? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin is money that cannot be inflated or controlled by any state. By continuing to use their money, you're perpetuating the killing. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available to you now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. It's Bitcoin.com. There are lots of ways to listen to Free Talk Live. Our podcast has been around since podcasts began, and now the FTL feed is loaded with content besides our full show archives. Did you know that we make it easy for you to customize your podcast subscriptions? We have different feeds, one that includes only our full shows, one with just the Daily Digest, and our main feed that includes everything. You decide what you listen to. It's quick and easy to customize your feeds at feeds.freetalklive.com. That's feeds.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Pulling the emergency break. I'm Lee Silicera, Fox News. That's what the governor of California says he's doing as there's been an explosion in cases of COVID-19. California Governor Gavin Newsom says COVID cases have doubled in 10 days. It is the biggest increase in the state since the pandemic began. In response, he says he's re-implementing some of the most severe restrictions on most of the state. 40 counties now will be moving backwards. In the original last week tiered status, you had 13 counties in purple, 22 in red. Today, we have 41 counties in purple, 11 in red. Purple, being the most restrictive, means gyms must close, there's no more indoor dining, and no gathering inside houses of worship. Hospitalizations have increased nearly 50% over the last two weeks, and ICU admissions have increased 39%. Jessica Rosenthal, Fox News. A second experimental vaccine for COVID-19 has shown promising results. Moderna says its vaccine is more than 94% effective, according to preliminary data from an ongoing study. Last week, Pfizer announced its vaccine was 90% effective. President-elect Joe Biden pushed back on comments made by some opponents of President Trump that they wouldn't trust a vaccine that's been approved under the Trump presidency. I wouldn't hesitate to get the vaccine if, in fact, Dr. Dr. Fauci and these two organizations, whether it's Moderna or Pfizer, who have been extremely responsible, conclude that it is uh, it is safe and, uh, and, and able to be done. And Biden said he would like to have more information on Operation Warp Speed, which is supposed to deliver the vaccine quickly. He said the delay could cost American lives. Category 5 Hurricane Iota is just off the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, and forecasters say it's likely to bring catastrophic damage to the same part of Central America already battered by Ada less than two weeks ago. America is listening to Fox News. This holiday season, more people will be mailing stuff than ever before. Stamps.com brings the post office and now UPS shipping right to your computer so you can mail and ship anything from the convenience of your home or office. With Stamps.com, you can print postage on demand and save money with deep discounts you can't even get at the post office. Like 5 cents off every stamp, up to 40% off priority mail, and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates. Print official stamps and labels right from your computer for any letter, package, or class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once your mail's ready, schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's a no-brainer. Don't spend a minute of this holiday season at the post office. Right now, listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale with no long-term commitment. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in FOX. Stamps.com. Enter Fox. Go right now to Stamps.com. Enter Fox. A trial underway in France for the suspects in a foil terror attack on board a train that became the suspect of the subject of a feature film. Five years after three American men helped foil an ISIS attack on a French train, the alleged gunman is going on trial. Investigators say Ayub al Khazani was armed with an assault rifle when the Americans, two of them in the military, tackled and disarmed him. No one was killed. Among witnesses who've been summoned to testify, Hollywood actor Clint Eastwood, who directed a movie based on the attack. The suspect faces life in prison if convicted. 
In London, Simon Owen, Fox News. The former fencing coach at Harvard University and a wealthy Maryland businessman arrested in a college admissions cheating scandal that's separate from the one that landed actresses Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman and others in jail. Peter Brand was fired from Harvard last year. G. Zhao of Maryland faced charges of conspiracy to commit federal programs bribery. Authorities say Brand sold his home. To help reduce you to a state of constant panic about a hypothetical doomsday scenario you have no ability to control, we now present The Onion Explains Nuclear Proliferation. The world's nuclear facilities are safeguarded by a bunch of really huge guys. We're talking absolutely jacked. With one of these muscle freaks stationed outside every missile silo and uranium processing plant worldwide, there's no way to get anywhere close to a nuclear complex without getting your ass beat. This nuclear facility in Siberia is rumored to be among the most secure in the world because they have like six of these And you can just forget about hijacking a nuclear submarine, too, because all of them have these totally roided up dudes that'll just swim up to you and choke you out. This is the Onion News Network. Researchers were able to successfully teach a father how to communicate his emotions with rudimentary hand gestures. The stunning development happened after Stanford researchers spent nine months trying to train 42-year-old Pittsburgh father Ron Myers to express simple sentiments like pride and love in a way few thought possible. To conduct the study, researchers used large, simplistic diagrams depicting hand gestures a dad might use to show emotion in a way Ron could easily comprehend. We would often leave Band of Brothers or 30 for 30 reruns on to help him stay comfortable. When Ron was able to successfully identify an emotion, he was given rewards to reinforce good behavior, including buffalo wings or a moment to read a page of a Tom Clancy novel. Despite Ron's breakthrough, researchers say he still has a way to go before achieving full emotional maturity, as after several months, of work with Ron, he still retreats to the corner of the lab to look up drywalling techniques on the internet whenever his real family drops by to see him. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Yes, it is Free Talk Live. Wow. The Monday Night Edition. 855-450-3733. Do you know how to work those headphones, nobody? Okay, you got it. Okay, cool. Uh, Is our toll-free number if you'd like to call and join the conversation. That's 855-450-FREE, like freedom. Uh, In the studio with you tonight, it's myself, the captain. It's Ian. And nobody. And we will circle back to talking about the European Union and what they're demanding. uh, Like a dog returning to its vomit. Demanding from the software developers and uh, banning uh, decentralized apps. But during the break, we were doing just a little more research on this company, Clear, uh, who would be partnering with Ticketmaster and is already doing things like... uh, uh, providing these services for arenas, and uh, I believe I read they were even doing it for like the NHL, and during their playoffs, they were the uh, company of choice to provide documentation that people were free of the virus, etc., and so on. I stumbled upon this article from Vox uh, that says, unsurprisingly, privacy advocates are very skeptical of the new Clear Health Pass, which they argue doesn't really solve the problem of keeping an area free of infectious people. Because you can't. If anything, they say the service introduces a host of privacy concerns. That's what I was attempting to allude to when we were talking about it uh, in the previous segment. They worry that deploying this health pass is in a wide range of venues could facilitate unwanted surveillance and become a ubiquitous part of life. Quote, forcing someone to upload extensive medical information to a privately run centralized database that's then going to decide whether or not they can enter public accommodations or potentially go to work or find a plane, that's really a nightmare scenario, unquote, said John Davidson, an attorney at the Electronic Privacy Information Center. 
Not if you're a control freak and you want to run other people's lives. Well, also, what's interesting to add in here is the history behind the company. According to now, they, there's not a page on Wikipedia about Clear specifically, but what there is is a page about the registered traveler program. Now, this was an airline passenger security assessment sy- system tested in the U.S. in 2005. Clear was operated at the time by a company called Verified Identity Pass, and it was the largest of these registered traveler program participants with almost 200,000 members. So you remember when they were, the TSA So they've was, already got experience in helping people who take your freedom from you right. to sell you a little bit of it back. Yes, and the way they sell it to you is by saying, hey, just go ahead and sign up for this thing. Now they call it like pre-check or whatever, TSA. Just sign up for this thing. We'll run you through the gamut of all these hoops, and then you can, uh, you'll can you be approved, and you can go take the fast line. Now you're certified. So uh, according to this story, and it was interesting because I remember reporting on this a decade ago. In July of 2008, a laptop containing the names, addresses, birth dates, driver's license numbers, and passport information of 33,000 clear customers was reported stolen from a secured room in San Francisco International Airport. So these jerk-offs are not only spooks, they're incompetent spooks. They want to spy on you so they can lose your information. Well, don't worry, they're different now, no buddies. Oh, I'm sure they are. They've well, had a decade. Again. They've had a decade to learn their lesson. A decade to ha- to make their aid to tyrants more profitable. Well, and also to be owned by a totally different company, LabCorp now. <laughs> Well, I, I, it's actually not LabCorp. I think uh, LabCorp might be an investor or something like that. The company that owns it now is called AllClear, A-L-C-L-E-A-R, uh-huh. AllClear, uh, LLC. That's the company that owns Clear, right. all in capital letters. We were trying to find what that stands for. We've been unsuccessful. Um, also, Don't they own some radio stations, too? You're thinking of Clear Channel, which okay. is now called iHeartMedia. Uh, but the uh, laptop in question had 33,000 customer profiles on it, and it was supposedly unencrypted, which is in contravention of TSA rules, although they say it was protected by two levels of password protection. As a result of the theft, uh, TSA ordered Clear to inform the affected customers, suspend enrollment of new customers, and cease the use of unencrypted computers as well as secure devices until encryption well, can actually, be installed. Actually, they, they ceased it before that happened, according to their policy. It just never seems to work out that way. And then, within apparently within another week or two, the laptop was found again in the same room where it supposedly had gone missing. The government uh, was uh, goons were then investigating whether any personal data was accessed, as well as the circumstances of the reappearance. Within a year, Clear announced they would be ceasing operations effective immediately, hmm. and then they uh, no changed such their, luck, though. the entire contents of their website was removed, and most pages redirected to a simple statement, Clear Lanes are no longer available at 11 p.m. in 2009 in June, Clear will and cease operations. And we thought from then on it was going to be f- clear sailing. Uh, no, what happened was they then sold after a filing, or there was a class action lawsuit filed against them. They went to bankruptcy court after that, and the new owners bought them up. And so Clear, in its current iteration, has only been around for a decade, but the, 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 the entire concept has been around for a a couple of them. So right. somebody thought they saw a clear path to profit. Well, and Kenneth Goodman, the director of the University of Miami's Institute for Bioethics and Health Policy, warns that a program like Clear's Health Pass could become a form of security theater. Especially since these people are clearly idiots. What exactly is any company going to do to ensure that people who get through security, come to the party, get on the plane, go to the restaurant, etc., are actually free of the virus, Goodman said. That has nothing to do with it. Where's the money in that? This the is money is just an extortion. The idea that fever detection or a quiz, which of course you could lie to, is going to improve our safety on the streets or airports or stadiums or anywhere else is so far not particularly based on solid peer-reviewed evidence. Well, I don't know if he's saying that they should go further, but it could be interpreted that he's saying that. that well, that I, I, think he's, I think he's saying incorrectly that it's not going to be 
a thing that's beneficial to anybody's mm, health. Right. Yeah, what it'll uh, be beneficial going further to, wouldn't be beneficial to anybody's health either. The benefit here is total control because they would get all of your biometric data. So when when Clear first lost thirty three thousand customer info, it was just you know. Their date of birth and their driver's license number and their address. Now Social it'll be your iris number, scan. Now it'll be your it. face. Now it'll be your uh, fingerprints and all of that. Your medical history. That well, too. Albert Fox Kahn, the executive director of Surveillance Technology Oversight Project, called HealthPass an absolutely horrifying product. <laughs> he points out that Clear's ultimate goal seems to be based on the assumption that people have access to regular testing, which is a questionable premise in the United States. Also, public health ex- experts... I mean, sure, they have access to it. Why would they want to waste their money on it? Right. Also, public health experts still don't have a full understanding of how COVID immunity works or how antibody tests should be factored into the equation. So uh, I am very skeptical of this company, uh, of their prominence that they already seem to have. Yeah. They're in well, Major League of, Baseball. Of course, they're prominent and within... The industry that already waged the war on drugs on us, because you, know, of course, that was waged in large part on behalf of the scumbags in the medical industry. He goes on to say that after 9/11, we passed emergency surveillance powers, and we were told, "Don't worry, they're going to go away in a few years." Uh, Khan told Recode, as of this year, we're still debating whether or not to renew them. We have to assume that any surveillance infrastructure we build to respond to this health crisis will become a permanent facet of American life. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree with you more. Stay away from this stuff. Yeah. Uh, Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We have uh, Mike calling from New Richmond. Uh, Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. What's Uh, on your mind? Long time listener, first time caller. Hey, I got a challenge for Ian. Okay. Um, I want to know, like, what is the best argument for the state that you've heard, and how would you refute that? Uh, the best Ooh. argument for the state? God, I mean, I. The best argument I've heard for the state is they love you and they want you to be happy. <laughs> and I refute that by saying. Are you daft, man? <laughs> Do you want to take a minute and answer that on the yeah, other Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. I don't know. Thanks for the call, Mike. We'll give you an answer in a bit. 855-450-3733 is our toll-free number if you'd like to join the conversation. We've got more, including, Ian, what is the best argument for the state? Coming up. Moose is the German Shepherd and hasn't had any kind of health problems at all. He has been on Dynavite since he's a puppy. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. We tell anybody that has a dog, if there was something that you could do right from the beginning so that you don't have expensive veterinary bills, why would you not do it? Get the Dynavite. Dynavite for life. It's Dynavite. How happy your dog will be. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Divi's been a pretty good investment for Free Talk Live. Their ad campaign started in September 2019, and from mid-March to mid-July, the values soared by 10 times. It's not too late. Divi's new wallet hasn't even released yet, and other things are happening that I can't even say on the radio. If you want to invest and potentially do well, go to DiviProject.org. I can tell you that FTL is deepening its partnership with the guys from DiviProject.org. Past performance is not an indication of future profit. DiviProject.org. D-I-V-I Project.org. What if the United States and the Soviet Union had fought on land, sea, air, and the astral plane, struggled for dominion across parallel dimensions, or on the surface of the moon? What wonders would have been unveiled? What terrors would have haunted mankind from those dark and dismal dimensions? Come closer, peer through a glass darkly, and discover the horrifying alternative visions of World War III from some of today's greatest minds in science fiction, fantasy, and horror, Weird World War III. Available now from Bane Books at BaneBooks.com. Having taken her father's throne, Sarah Calhoun has fallen out with one of her best allies, and her brother Nathaniel heads into Imperial Philadelphia with a reckless plan. Her uncle Thomas, armed with new powers and new allies, aims to remove Sarah from her throne and from the world of the living. To survive and to gain the strength she needs to fight an impossible war, Sarah must unite the Mound Builder Kings to enact an ancient rite that will propel her beyond mortality. Servant Daughter by T.J. Butler is the newest entry in the Dragon Award-winning Witchy War series from Bane Books at BaneBooks.com. 
The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. What if you want to hear the latest episode of Free Talk Live, but all you have is your phone, you forgot to download our archive, and you have no data connection? You can call our Listen Line at 641-793-0191. That's a long-distance number, so you may incur charges. If not, listen as long as you want. 641-793-0191. The Free Talk Live Listen Line, 641-793-0191. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Welcome back to Free Talk Live. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, like freedom. In the studio tonight, it's myself, the captain. And Ian. And nobody. And you can join liberty-minded voluntarists, anarchists, and libertarians from June 28th through July 4th for ForkFest 2021 at Rogers Campground in the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire. Forkfest happens the week... As opposed to the ugly White Mountains of New Hampshire, which are somewhat east of them. Yes. <laughs> Forkfest happens the week after the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and Forkfest is decentralized, which means no one is in charge. That also means there's no ticket cost. Just reserve your camping RV site or motel room with Rogers Campground for June 28th through July 4th. Where better to celebrate Independence Day than around other freedom-loving activists in the Shire? You can relax and enjoy the camaraderie of like-minded people, or you can create whatever experience or event you'd like others to have. If you're planning an event for ForkFest, be sure to let others know in advance. You can connect with fellow ForkFesters via the unofficial Telegram chat or the ForkFest forum. Links to those are on the unofficial website, ForkFest.Party. Mark your calendar for June 28th through July 4th, 2021, and we'll see you at ForkFest.Party. So party, yes. Have we fought for our right to party? You know, the Beastie Boys made a song. We have but, not yet begun to fight, but I, I don't think they actually did any fighting for our right to party. They made a song that says you have to, but I don't think they did any actual fighting. We're doing that here, though, yeah. in New Hampshire. And you know, the guy wrote, "We're not going to take it." He took it. Yeah, well, and he liked it. He's currently taking it. What a twisted, twisted sister. So to answer the question that the caller asked. Yes, he, um, he issued you segment. a challenge, Mr. Freeman, a challenge. A challenging yeah, it, challenge. It is that. challenging to think of any kind of good argument for the state. I mean, I don't generally consider arguments for the state to be good. Much less the best one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I could pick one that's, I would say, unique. I'm not going to say that it's particularly good. It's one that you don't really hear 
particularly often, the idea that, well, the market may be fine for these things that the market does, but we have to have the state because they have the resources to do X, whether that X be like going to space or mm. building the roads or whatever thing. It's the idea that the state, the market couldn't handle this because they don't have the, the, the ability to steal money. Like, so. like growing a military to where it's literally the largest force ever seen on planet Earth. Yeah, so this, you know, this particular viewpoint really excites the control freaks out there because they love the idea of forcing their viewpoint on everybody. And so if they can think of some really big plan that would cost a lot of money, then they can just say, well, we need the state for this plan because private companies couldn't afford to do it yeah and so i mean that's first of all if your idea is that good then it should be able to be funded privately yes uh if it's a bad idea the hallmark of a bad idea is that you require the state or violence because right. that's what the state is good ideas uh, do not require force correct uh people well, could come up with resisting the money. force is a good idea and that frequently does require force i think he means because... aggressive force correct says that no, they don't. Um, yeah. Good ideas do not require aggression. That's right. So uh, come up, you know, if you got your good idea, just start raising money for it voluntarily. The other thing is when you raise money for things voluntarily and you're not the state, if you're actually a private uh, entity of some sort of charity or, or whatever, uh, or company, then you're more efficient with the money that you raise. So therefore, what might cost the state a billion dollars to do might only cost a private charity, Half. you know, or something. Uh, you know, yeah. two million dollars or something. Right? Like, it'll be a fraction, or twenty million, or two hundred million. It'll be a fraction of whatever the government uh, would spend on that same thing, and they would probably get better results for the lesser amount of money. And further, the best part about it is, if you don't agree, you know, if that company is run by somebody who you think is a scumbag, or you found out like. I think there was a headline that Biden had some sort of uh, cancer charity. I don't know if you guys saw this this one. I didn't look at the details of it, but the the oh, story. Oh God! I thought you were going to say Biden had a cancer. I was going to be so happy. He might, but uh, the, he apparently had some sort of a charity where the, all of the money that was donated went to salaries instead of actually doing cancer research. <laughs> so, in a private charity situation, if you find out uh. that there's malfeasance going on then you can just walk away from it or not never give them money in the first place. Whereas with the state, you're forced to, uh, and it's always politicians who make decisions for you. So, I mean, it's not a good argument. It's just one of the more unusual ones, I guess. Sorry. I mean, that's the best whole I can do. thing about under, if, if we had anarchy that warlords would take over, is that's always seemed like a good argument a for... One. For government until you realize that the government is, is the war warlords Lord. that took over last time we had freedom. Right. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, that's, uh, I think Gene, the Christian anarchist, made that argument before that we're actually in a state of anarchy. Um, well, I mean, to some extent we are, um, you know, we're just operating under the illusion that one gang of criminals is different yeah. mm -hmm. from the rest. So the reality is the people are not the criminals. The yeah. government is the criminal. L L and Rose. they need the treatment that true criminals deserve. Larkin mm -hmm. Rose makes that argument, too. Is that anarchy is most things most of the time. Mm -hmm. It's just that occasionally some bullies come around calling themselves the government. Right. And uh, tell you what to do and how to do it. And if you don't comply, why? They purport the authority to chuck you in a cage. And if you don't like that and you resist that, well, then they'll kill you. Yep. So there's yeah, not really much of a difference between that and you know another criminal organization. Right. The difference is that this group of criminals managed to brainwash people to think there's something else. Right. And they did that by offering them free education. There's something else, all right. Yeah. Which, of course, isn't free. But they're, you a, know. they're a crime syndicate masquerading as a human rights organization. Yes, and, and to their credit, I mean, given the government gang does things very poorly, typically, to their credit, they've been very successful at this. I mean, I, you know, 2020 made it clear just how successful that they've been, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, because now we see it every time we go outside of the house. It used to be that people's bad ideas would mostly stay in their head. You yeah. know, they might put it on a bumper sticker. Maybe they'd wear a T-shirt with whatever bad, you know, ideas that they had. But now they literally put it on their face yeah. and they parade around, many of them proudly, 
you know, proclaiming essentially to the world how obedient they are. And now I understand there are some people who wear masks simply out of fear of what their neighbors will think. Right. But ultimately, I can't tell the difference between those of you who think like that and those of you who are actually proud of it. Can't people, tell the difference at a glance. People have asked me why I'm so, you know, against the lockdown, the masks. Yeah, the, what's your the problem, overre- Captain? Yeah. yeah, how come? How come? What well, you don't? You don't like people? You want Grandma to die? You know all those yeah, things, you right? Hate so your it, it's simply like this: for the first time in my life, people apparently have been convinced that otherwise healthy people need to behave in some way other than the way they were behaving. Mm-hmm. So, normally, healthy people are treated like normal healthy people. Now they're not. They're treated now. They're potential carriers. Now they're potential carriers, and they're treated as if there's something wrong with them. And that is, in essence, what I don't like about this whole thing. Sick. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. We've got more coming up. This is Free Talk Live. News from news.bitcoin.com. Bitcoin breaks 16,000 as Congress is poised to pump even more unbacked dollars into the market. John McAfee pumps Ghost, his crypto token, from prison. Threats from the SEC ignored. New Wyoming Congresswoman is a Bitcoin holder. Law enforcement moves long dormant Silk Road Bitcoin billion. Trump and Biden tied over who stinks more for crypto. Bitcoin.com is your source for getting started with cryptocurrencies, getting a wallet, buying Bitcoin cash, mining, and all the latest cryptocurrency news. Look, I'm sorry, but you're in for a world of pain if you use Coinomi. The reason is their wallet doesn't support payments. The solution is simple. Let them hear your voice. Message Coinomi on Twitter. It takes five seconds and tell them any pay sent you because they're on the fence right now. And your voice will prove that people care about using Bitcoin for payments. Go tweet at Coinomi now or even better, leave a review in the app store. They really pay attention there. Thanks. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, connect with others via the forum at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. The new fourth edition of Healing Our World, The Compassion of Libertarianism, will take your understanding of liberty to a deeper level and has over 1,300 updated references, new cartoons, and a forward by Dr. Ron Paul. With discounts for multiple book purchases, the fourth edition of Healing Our World is a great gift for the liberals, pragmatists, environmentalists, and Christians in your life who think libertarianism is cold-hearted. Get yours today at healing.freetalklive.com and use promo code FTL for a $5 discount. Tired of cancel culture? Sick of mega tech corporations holding an axe over your head? Join the LRN.FM Matrix chat server. It's self-hosted, so no one else can tell us what to do or say. Don't like the existing channels? You can make your own. You can even connect into some of our channels from other Matrix servers. It's federated. For the full LRN.FM Matrix experience, though, you should join our server via the step-by-step instructions at chat.lrn.fm. Chat.lrn.fm. I'm grateful to have heard from some of our satellite listeners recently. I appreciate knowing that people are out there who like what we do and are willing to support it financially. LRN.FM's free-to-air satellite feeds blanket most of two continents. It was my goal to put our channel there so people without internet could receive our programs and feed pirate radio stations. We started a fundraiser on Patreon a few years ago to back the satellite channels. I recently announced that I was considering canceling the feeds and donations increased from 15 to 20 percent of our costs, which are around $1,000 per month. That's a good start, and to incentivize more contributions, the Shire Free Church will be matching every dollar. Can we reach $500 per month? With your help, we can. You can join our satellite fundraiser for just $2 a month at fund.lrn.fm. If we raise enough to keep both of the channels on the air, awesome. If we raise more, I'll add more channels. 
If not, we can shut them down and go internet only. It's up to you. Thank you for your support. FUND.LRN.FM You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. That's my manual drum roll. Oh, I was hoping it was the gargling sound of the state being drowned to death. That would have been a much better. You know, when they do sound design, they often use different sounds that you wouldn't think are the sounds to make sounds that you think are the sounds. Mm. Right? So like a crumbling, uh, what do you call it, tin foil, aluminum foil, Mm -hmm. uh, is simulated rain. Uh, They'll also use bacon frying for simulated rain. So, yeah, stuff you you didn't really need to know. but yeah, sound Secrets d- of the Foley guy. Secrets of the Foley and ADR people here on Free Talk Live. Yes, this is Free Talk Live. I forgot to mention that. I didn't really forget. I was just waiting. Uh, our toll-free number is 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE, like freedom, if you'd like to join us. In the studio tonight, it's me, the captain. And it's Ian. And nobody. And this is the moment in the show where we get to say thank you. To Ryan Johnson, he is a silver level amplifier. That means he donates. That would be five dollars per month. Five dollars per month to the amplifier program, and you can find out all about that over at amp.freetalklive.com. Uh, what it is is a program that allows you to donate, and the money goes exclusively to help us get on more radio stations. So, if you like this program, you like the characters, you like the content. Uh, and some of the things that we talk about, uh, including the callers and that kind of thing, and you want to help us spread the message of freedom, uh, you can help us do that by becoming an amplifier. You get some pretty neat perks. Uh, We only ask for 5 bucks a month. You can give more if you like to, uh, of course, uh, and we appreciate it, particularly Ryan Johnson. Thank you for being an amplifier. Uh, We do appreciate your assistance. And, again, you can find out more at amp.freetalklive.com. So uh, I teased uh, earlier in the program about this article about the European Union. Uh, They've made moves to outlaw encrypted apps. And this is from ZeroHedge.com by Tyler Durden, of course. Uh, An EU Council of Ministers resolution spearheaded by the French Prime Minister uh, and the Austrian Chancellor uh, of the Conservative Austrian People's Party would mandate that apps such as Telegram, Signal and WhatsApp provide European intelligence services with backdoor access in order to allow them to better monitor the conversations of their citizens. Mm. They want to violate your backdoor. That's right. I said it. That's government for you. Encryption is an important tool used by dissidents, journalists, and privacy conscious citizens around the world, and in an age of mass surveillance and strict social media censorship. Millions have started embracing the technology in the West as the rulers of the Anglosphere and and Europe continue to lose public confidence and become more repressive. The excuse being given for this effort... COVID-19. ...is a spate of recent terrorist attacks Oh, they need to use COVID-19. I mean, that's why we don't need encryption. (laughs) Well, what they're calling terrorist attacks, are they actually terrorist attacks, or are they the uh, yellow vests, the people fighting back against the tyrants? I I always find it funny when governments use (laughs) terrorist attacks. Uh, It's the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah, they should really say Uh, unauthorized terrorist attacks. Yeah. To differentiate them from the terrorist attacks that the governments engage in every single day. Rather than contend with complex cultural, ethnic, and immigration issues that lead to such violence, uh, Mark on Kurtz and the interests they represent see an opportunity to expand their eavesdropping power over their increasingly frightened population. In recent years, laws passed by liberal governments under the guise of combating foreign Islamic terrorism have been utilized against citizens espousing nationalist, populist, and dissident ideas, as well as adversarial political factions. 
In the United States, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, was founded after 9-11 to combat al-Qaeda operations domestically. But its unconstitutional powers today are largely focused on going after the right-wing white male. The FBI's CIA-like power granted to them in the name of counterterrorism lowered the bar for surveillance via the secret FISA court and was used by permanent bureaucrats to entrap and spy on members of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. It was actually the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force that formed a political gluten squad to come after me. I always Thanks, guys. Whenever they used the term Joint Terrorism Task Force, I imagined a bunch of hippies smoking a joint, sitting around in a room going, man, how can we terrorize some people? Yeah, if only it were that. But that's not what it is. It's far more frightening than that. Uh, figures struggling with low approval ratings like Marcon have a vested Macron. interest. Ma- Macron. Macron. Yeah. He has a vested interest in being able to spy on protest movements like the Yellow Vests, who have largely been shut down by Facebook and forced to migrate to Telegram. Interesting. See, I was wondering when the Yellow Vests were brought up a moment ago, what happened to them? Well, right. they're in the news, so we can get to that story. Oh, really? Uh, yep, they're back. Yeah, this uh, this doesn't uh, go on for very right, long. Welcome back, Yellow Vest guys. Uh, in pursuing these measures, Europe will be following the lead of the Five Eyes Intelligence Network. That's the UK, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada, which last October put out a call for an international plan to end accessible encryption for ordinary citizens. What? What well, isn't that convenient? They've got five eyes, and I've got five fingers on each hand. <laughs> but I'm only going to show them one. <laughs> uh, I'll show them one on each hand. It's directly in the center. That's what I'm talking about. In their statement last month. The By the d- way, before you go on. Yes. Uh, so they're saying they want an international plan to end encryption for yes. ordinary people. They're going to have a tough time pulling that off in the United States because of that pesky freedom of speech. You know, as long as they continue to pretend to honor that and of all of the constitutional protected so-called rights, freedom of speech does tend to be the one that has the longest, you know, uh, stick to They They have, you know. For it, the most part, the courts have upheld it over the years, so mostly. that's going to be the tough Really? One. So we can swear on the radio? We don't have to get a license no, to I, broadcast now? Yeah, it's not perfect. Uh, I'm saying mostly, <laughs> compared to some of the other things. It, it's certainly uh, it been more free than in other places, but I think it is a misnomer to say that we actually have it. No, no, I wasn't saying that we have it. I was just saying that compared to other purported protected rights uh, that have been stripped away completely... This one has not been stripped away completely. It, it's still it kind of difficult. exists here. Yes, it's true. It, it we are on difficult. the radio, therefore it kind of exists. Yeah, it'll be difficult for them to go to court and say, you have the freedom to write software, just not this software. Now, they did make that argument in the case of Ross Ulbricht and were successful at putting him in, into prison uh, for writing a website. So well, it's not, not to say there aren't not exceptions Not actually for this. writing it, but for operating it, which is a different thing. I mean, if... If you make yourself a firearm, uh, it's different from actually using that. Well, the difference is very subtle, though. I mean, ultimately, he wrote the site and he happened to operate the site, so they got him. Well, Well, in their statement last month, the Department of Justice claimed they were concerned with the proliferation of child pornography over these apps. (laughs) This rationalization rings hollow since the FBI's budget for combating child exploitation and pornography has remained stagnant. Well, don't forget that the FBI actually Mm -hmm. ran a child pornography website, which actually was the largest of the such sites, according to Mm -hmm. their own bragging, and uh, proceeded to help distribute, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of images and videos to whomever. And don't forget that Epstein didn't kill himself. And that when Acosta who was uh, Trump's secretary of labor, was asked and was also the prosecutor on the uh, The Florida case case for Epstein, where he got a sweetheart deal. He was asked why he gave Epstein that sweetheart deal. And the the dirtbag said, well, I was told he was attached to intelligence and he was above my pay grade. Interestingly enough, nobody in the media said, oh, really? Who told you that? 
And uh, the powers that be continue to allocate meager resources to e- investigate even the record number of reports that they receive of child pornography here in the United States. Well, there's so. people smoking weed. We have to have priorities. Indeed they do. 855-450-3733. Do you want the government to have backdoor access to all your apps? There's so much hand sanitizer on the market, but beware, not all hand sanitizers are created equal. That's why you want to use 2020 Safe Hand Sanitizer. You can trust the hand sanitizer on 2020safe.net to be made with the highest quality ingredients, American-made, with American ingredients, employing Americans. Log on now to 2020safe.net and order your one liter today. Normally $29.99, but reduced to $19.99, so hurry while supplies last and receive a bonus. That's right. You'll receive a 30-count bottle of Immune Booster, a $39.95 value, free, by using code GCN at checkout. Right now, click 2020safe.net. That's 2020safe.net to get our one-liter bottle of high-quality hand sanitizer with your free bonus. A 30-count bottle of Immune Booster valued at $39.95. Remember to enter GCN at checkout. And the bonus is yours, free, 2020safe.net. Attention business owners, body slammed by overwhelming debt. If your business is in trouble, hassled by creditors, if you're frustrated, finally fed up with big business bailouts while your business has been left for dead, please listen close. There's a brand new fast track bankruptcy. Some have even called it the biggest small business bailout in American history. Designed for individuals and their businesses. And look, almost no one knows about this yet. My attorney wasn't even aware of it. The truth is, beating the system has never been easy because it's rigged in a sense against the little guy. But here's the jaw-dropping news nobody's talking about. They've literally just changed the system so that you can beat it. But only if you understand how the new game has to be played. Find out if you qualify at pocketsoflight.com. This government-backed small business repair program is still legal, but may not be renewed after the election. Fight back fairly. Fight back ethically at pocketsoflight.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing. To be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Some of you asked, and now we've delivered. LRN.FM's live Keene, New Hampshire studio shows are now streamed in HD on Twitch. Visit our channel at twitch.lrn.fm and give it a follow. If you have Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription on Twitch. If you use it on our channel, Twitch will give LRN.FM a monthly piece of your Prime subscription cost. So please watch, follow, share, and subscribe to twitch.lrn.fm. That's twitch.lrn.fm. Cell 411 is a free app for Android and iOS that replaces government control 911. Cell 411 allows you to preset a group of friends or private organizations to show up at any emergency. Cell 411 is a nightmare for the state because it proves their so-called services aren't needed. Cell 411 has had thousands of installs, and of course it's covered by the Bipcot No Government License. Cell 411 because your friends won't shoot you when you're in trouble. Without the government, who would build the emergency services? You and Cell 411. Get it today at GetCell411.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free.
Free Talk Live. That's right. Live from New Hampshire, it's Monday night. Hey. I am your host, the Reverend Captain Kickass. Joining me in the studio tonight, it's... I'm Ian. And Pope Nobody of the Church of the Invisible Hand. And our toll-free number is 855-450-3733 if you would like to join in the fun. Speaking of your calls, let's go to one of them right now. Uh, Free Talk, you're on David in New Mexico Live. Yes. Uh, One of our, what was that? There Was there something coming there that I missed? No, you're on the air. Just you. Yeah, I wanted to answer uh, Ian and uh, Captain's question from another evening that I didn't get a chance to answer. Uh Uh-oh, what was the question? The the question, Ian had asked me um, when I suggested that, or when I stated that I wanted to, um, or that I had, uh, oh, now you made me lose my train of thought, that I had uh, contacted uh, Kurt Elich, the guy that uh, assaulted and battered my my kid, Mm -hmm. and I contacted him, uh, which could, may or may not be, I don't actually know. Uh, for sure, whether it's violating a court order to not contact him. And Ian had asked me, you know, do do I want to be sanctioned for that? And, and, uh, Captain, you had asked or you had suggested that uh, it might not be a good idea to share it over the radio. I'm just stating facts and law, so I got nothing to hide. I've never had it. I can state everything from my side of it without anything to worry about. Now, to answer Ian's question, uh, if it's a violation of a court order and uh, Kurt Oden Elich wants to uh, bust my ass for doing it, then good. He, he can, one, spend the, the hundreds of dollars it will cost him to file that motion mm-hmm. and, attend the corpor- and attend the motion hearing in order to attempt to sanction me for contempt of court. And then when we're in that motion hearing where he's trying to sanction me for contempt of court, He'll have to explain, you know, what are you complaining about, Mr. Elich? Well, Mr. Olson sent me a, a text and an email asking me why I abused his son. So that's, and that's the violation of the court order. So he, he would have to expose uh, to the family court that he's being prosecuted criminally uh, for a felony ch- uh, charge and a sex crime against my kid's mom and a, a misdemeanor assault and battery on my son himself. He'd have to explain that, that that's why he wants the judge to sanction me for contempt of court mm. for asking him why he's abusing my children. Doesn't seem too and likely. That, right. Doesn't seem too too likely. And then also, there's another game that the the uh, family court in New Mexico has been playing. John, uh, John J. Romero Jr., the judge, is playing this is playing this game, and it's it's a there's a long history of this. It's a pattern, so people should pay attention because it'll be done to you if you ever utilize the services of a court appointed attorney, whether in a criminal proceeding or in a civil proceeding. Uh, in the unusual circumstance where you have a court appointed attorney in a civil proceeding, like I do, mm-hmm. um, w- one of the things that they do is, you know, one, they don't give you the level of service as if you were forking over. Mm-hmm. Uh, Benjamins, one after another, after another, after another, yep. um, and then when when you call them on their their uh, insufficient performance, um, they say things like, in my case, for instance, this attorney hasn't done anything in years. Uh, he said, "Well, there, there's no hearings scheduled in your case, so there's no work to do. But I'm collecting the paycheck anyway, even though there's no work to do because there's no hearing scheduled." And my response to him is, "Well, schedule one. The ball is in your court, dummy." And uh, he, he just ignores that. But mm. now if Mr. Elich comes with a, uh, with a motion for a hearing, then there would be a hearing scheduled in my case that the, uh, the attorney on my side would, would have to actually attend to because he can't shut down the other attorney like he can shut me down, his own client. So there's like three different things that, that, uh, that uh, having a contempt hearing would do in my favor. Okay. Um, you know, so yeah, you actually so do want to have a contempt actually, hearing? Bring it on. Like I said, yeah, like I said, there, there would be, I, I would. Could be you file a motion of, for your own contempt hearing? I could possibly do that. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. <laughs> That's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, ne- always remember uh, Mae West's line uh, when the judge said to her, Madam, are you attempting to display contempt for this court? She said, no, right. your honor, I'm attempting to conceal it. All right, what's next for you, David? What's next for you? Uh, the, the, well, the next thing, I have a hearing on the 24th regarding um, the KUNM trying to put me in prison for three years. It's a, 
status hearing, pretrial conference. Oh, and I, this will be interesting. The, the one and only of the 16, 17, 18 judges in the Metro Court in Albuquerque, only one is on the right. All the left, rest of them are Democrats. They're all Democrats pay for one Republican, and this judge happens to be a Republican, so it'll be interesting to see how she treats me as compared to the abuse I've suffered at the hands of the other Democrat judges that have numbers. I predict about, it'll make no difference whatsoever. Yes, thank you for the call tonight, too, David. I, I predict the same as well. But good luck to you, David. Uh, we wish you the best in your endeavors. Keep us updated, as you always do. Uh, we wanted to. We had mentioned the yellow vests here in this article uh, from Zero Hedge and how they are attempting to ban uh, encrypted apps in the European Union. And so uh, Ian had an update there for us. Well, I was just curious to see what had happened with them because they were certainly in the news big time yeah, last year. And they disappeared. Like, and, and that and was suddenly well, they were gone. Uh, like the Hong Kong protesters, they disappeared when the imaginary disease came out well that's what i was wondering was did they really disappear uh there was a story back from march of this year where yellow vests defy coronavirus measures to protest in paris but then i don't see a whole lot since then um then there is a story the revolution here from however will not be televised september 12th so i'm looking at uh the uh, let's see, this is not uh, television, this is France 24 reporting that French police fired tear gas and arrested more than 250 people in Paris on Saturday. Now, this was, again, uh, September 12th. On uh, Saturdays, they tussled with yellow vest protesters seeking to revive the anti-government movement curbed by coronavirus lockdown this year. Now, I've seen these guys de- described as anti-government, but I, I don't know if that's actually accurate as far as well they're opposed to the government they have it's not clear that they're opposed to government in general no Um, i don't think they are i had to look up tussle because while i've used the word i was like what is a tussle it's a fight Mm -hmm. it's a vigorous struggle or scuffle typically in order to obtain or achieve something the yellow vest named after motorists high visibility jackets which apparently are a requirement for every car in france Mm -hmm. uh emerged in late 2018 in protest against fuel taxes and the cost of living posing a major Mm -hmm. challenge to president emmanuel macron as demonstrations spread across france at the time by midday on saturday again this again uh September of this month, hundreds of demonstrators had gathered at the starting points of two authorized marches in Paris. So does that mean they asked for permission uh, to do this? That's a good question. No, it sounds like there were other people who were marching with authorization Mm, and they showed up because it doesn't say they were. They they went there and marched. It says they oh, showed up at the start of a, a march. So if somebody the marchers are there for the whole march. Wait, so if somebody else gets a license to have a march, you could just show up for their march and march? Well, I don't know, but I march mean march? March? if I don't know what I'm if saying. nobody physically stops you, then yes, you can. Yeah. And if they try to stop you, you can always kick them in the floor. We I, did I get, that in Keene. We like you co opted a march? We did it more than once. It was um I don't know if it was Veterans Day, Memorial Day, one of those yeah. military things where they have like a parade yes. uh, up mm-hmm. Main Street. And we came out with peace signs, you know, handmade signs with messages of, of peace, peace and, and against war yeah. and that sort of thing. I'm and, not disturbing the peace. I'm disturbing the war. And we joined the parade at the very end. So once the the end of the, the tail end of the parade had gone, we followed up and were at the end of the parade and got a lot of positive response. Nice. Uh, got some negative responses, too, as you might expect. But I would say the majority were, of them were positive. We did that for, I think, four or five years in huh. a row. Nice. Yeah. I, I appreciate that and applaud you for your efforts. Uh, so, according to the story, while one Thank you cor- for your service. cortege proceeded without incident, the other march was aborted as police clashed with groups who left the designated route and set fire to waste bins and a car. Some protesters wore black clothes and carried the flag of an anti-fascist movement, suggesting the presence of radical demonstrators dubbed black blocks, often blamed for violence at street marches in France. The police repeatedly used tear gas to counter small groups of roaming protesters before they disappeared toward the end of the afternoon. Police had made 256 arrests on that day by 6 p.m., with many for carrying items like tools that could be used as weapons. Mm. Well, I don't I don't necessarily agree with their uh, politics completely, but thanks for going out and fighting with the cops, because somebody needs to. 
Well, it looks like we are out of time. Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find us at freetalklive.com. Peace. Have a good night. Mounds and mounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. Our cat mama, she's 10 years old. She has dandruff and an oily coat. I have.